Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Let me know whenever you can uh, see me. What's up? Everybody's talking about 28 stab wounds still. Oh god, 28 Mitches. God. We don't we don't need one Mitch, let alone 28. Welcome guys. Okay, I think you guys are starting to be able to see me a little bit. Yay! And yes, please, no spoilers in chat. Um yeah, today I'll go ahead and pin that one, that uh, message. Yay, cool. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Grossberg drip. I've been having this one for a while. I don't want to. I don't want to switch it because it's just so beautiful. There is like the Qtaro version of Grossberg. I might switch it to that one just for the just for the meme. But uh, yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. I'm excited to check this out. Today we're checking out uh, Danganronpa Redemption. It's like um. The main thing I know about it is that, like, it's basically characters from the canon games, but they're in, like, a new killing game. I'm not really sure um, exactly how, like, if it's going to connect canonically to the previous games. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember dying. <laughs> I'm not really sure if it's going to be, like, uh, that or um, if it's just going to be kind of like a whole new alternate um, universe thing. But I've been looking forward to this one for a while because I know that Kaede is the protagonist. And God, I just want more Kaede in my life. I want more Kaede in my life. I'm like, you better not. <laughs> you better not freaking. You better not freaking kill kill again, Kaede. Dude, I'm just going to see her with like a shot put ball in the corner and be like, Kaede, no, put it down. Put it down, Kaede. <laughs> oh, man. But um, with this one, I do kind of want to give a disclaimer. Um, just because uh, originally I was going to stream it like a few weeks ago, but the creator wasn't sure that she felt like super comfortable with it. Um, basically, uh, this was like, I think this might honestly be like the first like Instagram rampa that um, was made to my knowledge, but um, she wasn't super proud of like the first, um, I think two chapters. And so she was kind of worried about me trying it because uh, she made it when she was like a high schooler and uh, she's not like super proud of the way she paced things just because it was more like a fun thing that she was doing with friends rather than like, um, you know, something that she was trying to make to be like a masterpiece fan game. So um, I'm not planning on like being hypercritical of it. And that was what I told her too. And I'd appreciate it if you guys were, uh, you know, <laughs> nice too, if there is any issues. Cause I mean, like, uh, I do think it's one thing to be like critical, but I don't know, I guess like, I feel like it's more justified to be critical towards like games made by big companies rather than like fan game products you know what i mean just because it's like hey it's just one person making a game they're not making any uh income from it and stuff and i was like and i'm just here to have fun i'm here to have fun and to see my favorite characters again and hopefully <laughs> hopefully they live a little bit longer and i'm pretty excited from what i do know about some of the people in the cast so uh yeah but i've heard uh after like i think we're like chapter three and on it gets like a lot better and she said she was really proud of those chapters too so i'm excited to uh uh, excited to see those but yeah let me um let's see let me read some of these donations that I got but yeah I just kind of wanted to give that as like a brief uh kind of overview before we get into it because I think it would probably make her feel better and just so you guys know too thank you Andrew Marsh hey Weeby we fan here strep throat's finally starting to go away oh I'm so sorry funny you should mention no spoilers one of my ex-friends tried to spoil several major plot twists of my Danganronpa 4 recently. I like your Danganronpa 4 game. It's like, <laughs> there's no Danganronpa, there's no actual Danganronpa 4, right? <laughs> right? But uh, thank you. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. And thank you, Fallen Redditor. Fan -gan can be, this fan -gan can be strange at times, but it's a really cool experience overall. Hope you enjoy the first of many, awesome, hope you enjoy the first of many awesome streams. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. I was like, if Kaede's in it, then like, <laughs> I'm already sold. That's all I need. It's like, I won't, I won't be critical unless Kaede dies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, but um, I think originally it's like an Instagram rampa, but there's like a YouTube um, video kind of like series for it as well. So we're going to be checking out those. Um, I guess you guys can just let me know um, if the music's too loud and stuff. It's kind of hard to know with uh, these types of like uh, YouTube video series stuff. But uh, yeah, um, I figure we'll probably do the prologue. And then maybe chapter one, Daily Life. It seems like it's like an hour long. Oh, yeah, people said not to read the comments either, so... Be careful. Be careful. If I uh, scroll down a little too much. And thank you, Raylan. Finally back for a live. Let's go. Have fun, Weeby. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really uh, looking forward. Looking forward to trying this out. And thanks for being a member for four months. Thank you, Andrew March. Donner Before is that fan fiction fanning and rampa I told you about. Oh, yeah. That was it. I was like, I feel like I... It sounded familiar. The one starring my Nigiri fan kid, Kiki Nigi. 
Kiki, do you love me? I keep, I cannot think of that name without thinking of that stupid song. But yeah, I was like, I felt like I was forgetting something. I was like, I know you mentioned like a fan game before, but yeah, now it, now it all, all makes sense. Okay, but yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get uh, started here in a second. I guess we can kind of figure out if I need to move my screen or not later too. Thanks guys for the uh, donations, appreciate ya. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, ugh! Let me know too if the audio is good. It seems, it seems to be okay, I think, from what I can tell. I can breathe? But Monokuma, Rontaro, I was... Huh. I don't have... Oh, okay, yeah, so she does remember. Uh, <laughs> she does remember what happened during the other game. I don't have a... I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube anymore. I'm alive! Uh, thud. I guess that might be kind of like, uh, what's it like, The World Ends With You or something like that, where it's like, you get a ch second chance at life if you make it through this death game or something like that. Thud. Ow, what the... There's a note taped to this table on the desk. Dear Hope's Peak Redemption member, Kaede Akamatsu, please report to the gym. Your e-handbook has a map leading you right to it. Please try to arrive before 8 a.m. sharp. Oh, it's so nice to hear Kaede's voice again. It's like, ah. I guess it's just my voice, but still, it's, it's awesome. It's nice. It's nice to be there. Oh, trigger warnings, uh, apparently. Okay, so just uh, keep an eye out. I'm sure people will explain in the chat, too. Sincerely, your favorite Monokuma, probably. This this has to be a joke. There's no way this is. It, this has to be fake, right? I just got out of one of these. I'm not another one, right? Right, guys? Thank you, Red Onuo. Thanks for becoming a part of the Kenjo Cole. Woo! My punishment for what I did, for how stupid and careless I was. No, no more of this. It's what he wants, right? Hmm. He wants us to be scared, but this time, I'm not gonna let him get to me, not anymore. I'm gonna stand up for myself. I won't let anything happen to anyone. This time, I'll really be the best leader, <laughs> protagonist, what? I will be a real protagonist, damn it. You can't take this away from me, Kadaka. I'll really be the best I can be, I... Uh, Kaede. Huh. Who is this gonna be? So much for not being scared. Wait, wait a minute. It it can't be. Huh. Oh, hey, Rontaro. I was like, I was pretty sure that Rontaro was in here too. Oh my god, I I didn't mean to. I was like, it'd be nice to see more of Rontaro, because Rontaro, like, he felt like such a missed opportunity in V3, honestly. He just seemed like such an interesting character. He was like probably one of the characters I was like most looking forward to, and then he just died so early on. It was so sad. Oh my god, I, I didn't mean to. Holy sh I mean, in no way! This is definitely hell or something. Hey, hey why is it gonna be hell? Can't it be heaven? Hey, you're the one who killed me, remember? Now I know it's because of Monokuma and you. You're here and... <laughs> Kaede, calm down, okay? I, I promise you're not... I think we already established I'm not the mastermind, right? Or I wasn't the mastermind of the previous game. No, I won't let him get to me. Are we in Paris? Oh my god. <laughs> this game literally takes place takes place in Paris, Texas. They're like, wow, Mexico is so much more different than I thought it would be. That's so weird. We're the Tongan Rampa and other cast members. Stomp, stomp. I bolt up from the desk and run down the unfamiliar halls. The tablet still held in my trembling hands. I surrounded the corner. I slammed right into someone, knocking us both down. Bam. Okay, another member. Hey, watch where you're going. In my disheveled state, I barely recognize the voice. Oh God, oh God, Jesus, why are you here? Oh my God, Weeby, your love for me. It just brought me back, even though I got plenty of screen time in the other game. You can't have a dang and grandpa game without me, <laughs> tee -hee. Uh, You seem so happy to see a little old me. I didn't really expect to see Kokichi here. I kind of I kind of thought it'd be characters from, uh, like I don't know, like characters who died in like the first couple of chapters. <laughs> 
<laughs> now people saying Hifumi. Oh, it's even better than that. Even fucking better than that. The best boy you all love so much. Oh my god, I can't wait to the Kokichi voice though. Oh, I love that voice. I haven't been able to do it enough. He seems so happy to see a little old me. Kokichi, oh god, I really am in hell. Damn it. Damn it, I knew it. I knew it from the first second I saw Rentaro. He's like, hey, thank you, Sonya Nevermind's wife. Imagine a set of Monokuma. Ugh, it's Mitch. No, no, it's not. That really would be hell, honestly. That would honestly. I'd be like, no, Kaede's, Kaede's onto it. It is hell. It is. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. My, my head hurts. Not this fucker. I don't blame you, girl. Honestly, same. Same. Uh, is she okay? And <laughs> no clue. She just doubled over the second she saw me. God, I'm just, I'm just so cool. You know, she was just, just blown away by my awesomeness. This isn't funny, little dude. She's, sh she's dead again. <laughs> Scared? Yeah, I'm not. So don't try and get me to play along, Greeny. Oh, uh, uh, Greeny. <laughs> hey. Keep at it, Kokichi, and I'll make your face match your hair. Ew, scary. <laughs> you want to tickle me, too? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so Kokichi was still here. Uh, he's making my head hurt. Why? <laughs> hey, Kaide. Uh, wake up, please. Please. Oh, my God. No, Rantaro. Rant uh, Rantaro. I'm trying to... God, I'm, like, on the dub thing now. No, Rantaro can't be here. He's, he's dead. I... I- I killed him! I killed Rontaro. I killed Rontaro. I suddenly sat up, my eyes opened to reveal Kokichi and Rontaro sitting beside me. I, I killed you! Why are you still here? I was frustrated, not because Rontaro was alive, but because nothing was making sense. Oh wow, Rontaro, you really know how to pick him, huh? <laughs> Shut up, Kokuchi. God, it must be so cool being the mastermind. I wish I was the mastermind in this game. <sighs> Kaede, listen to me. You aren't dreaming or dead. I don't get it either, but you... Saw... Oh. Aww. I... I killed you. I was kind of wondering, too. I was like, if this, like, if they remember all the things from, like, the previous games, they're going to have, like, a lot of trauma, honestly. Like... I can't imagine, like, how painful, like, Kaede's execution mu must have been. Like, that would, I don't know, that would be some serious trauma to take into, like, this life. I feel like that's something that a lot of, like, isekai anime is just kind of, like, overlooked. They're like, yes, I died a horrible, painful, terrible death on the street alone. But, like, ah, whatever. <laughs> I'm a soldier now, so it's cool. I killed you. I know I did, so I forced myself to believe I deserve my death. But it was so terrible, and it was probably nothing compared to how you felt. I, I'm so sorry. Rontaro's like, no, nah, I was watching your death. It was it was way worse than mine. Hey, don't apologize, especially when... Oh! Oh, my God. Can she find out that it was actually Samugi that did it? I want that to happen, dude. I want that to happen. She deserves to know. Kokichi suddenly... And no, <laughs> no comforting in this game. Kokichi suddenly cut Rontaro off by sprawling onto it. Wait, wait, what? Wait. <laughs> Sprawling onto his lap like a like a cat. <laughs> Kokichi, get the fuck off of me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like obsessed with you in V3. You know, I had my little cutout, my little cutout board of you, Rontaro. God, you were so much you were so much nicer as a cutout board. That's so weird. I flirted with you all the time back then, and you were so cool with it. Hey, hey, watch the language, green bean. There's kids in chat. Ah, uh, this <laughs> this sexual tension's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> what in Rantar Nation's going on here? You're so insensitive. No wonder I had a bad feeling about you. Rantaro suddenly stood up, causing Kokichi's head to hit the floor. Ow, that wasn't very nice of you, buddy. I couldn't help but let out a soft laugh at that. <laughs> it's good to know that wherever we are, you both haven't changed. Oh, wait, this is... Only in Ohio, as the killing game takes place in Ohio. Oh, she's like, that's where we are. I thought it was Mexico or Paris, but now I realize it was Ohio the whole time. Neither have you yet. Yeah? Now we can sit down and talk? I nodded, agreeing. I was petrified to say the least, but I had to be strong. I left Kokichi behind because we bumped into each other with... Oh, Angie earlier. We all agreed to try and find more people. Wow, all V3 people uh, so far. Angie, she's here too? Yeah, she died, apparently. 
And we started talking. At first we were bitter, upset, but we learned that sometimes things happen for a reason. And that... I'm sorry for cutting you off so much, but I can't just let you forgive me. I... You didn't kill me. Yes! Finally tell her! Comfort her! What? I talked to Kokichi. He told me what happened in the trial. How does... Wait. How does Kokichi know? Did he know in V3? I can't remember. Your shop all missed me. <laughs> I don't know who killed me, but it wasn't you. He just like in the background like, I know everything, Weeby. That's how. <laughs> that's how. If only... If only you saw the trial, then you know you'd hate me. Then I know you'd hate me. Rontaro, I don't care what you think I did or didn't do, but I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Rontaro seemed conflicted, but he suddenly pulled me into a hug. Aw, cute. I'm sure what else to do. I cried into his shoulder. Poor Kaide, man. I was like, it's nice. It's nice to know. It's just nice to see stuff like this. Like, like yes, she deserves to know, dude. They deserve to make up. I'm like, oh, this is my Delulu land before they start dying. <laughs> this is my Delulu land where I'm like, yeah, Kaide's still alive. This literally is my Mexico. Ugh, this is canon. <laughs> hey, you guys, look. Stop flirting with my boyfriend in front of me, Kaide. It's kind of messed up. I lifted my head to see Angie rounding the corner with three other students. Okay. I kind of wonder, too, if the characters from each game are going to, like, team up. You know what I mean? Like, um... Uh, the characters from V3 teaming up, characters from Danganronpa 2 kind of, you know, teaming up or being, like, closer with each other. I mean, it makes sense since they, like, know each other better. I lifted my head to see Angie rounding the corner with three other students. Thank goodness I thought I heard voices here. I found some new people. Isn't that just amazing? Thank the gods. Kaide. Oh, oh my. Hey, Angie. Uh, um, that's cool to see Angie. She was definitely a character that I would have liked to have seen uh, more. No, Kikichi told Rontaro what happened in the trial, and Rontaro realized Kaede was falsely convicted because the ball from the bookcase. Uh, I'm gonna have to relook that up. It's been so long since I played V3. <laughs> like my brain head empty, honestly. It's good to see you on arm, Kaede. You, you too. Oh, no freaking way. Oh, my God. Wait, somebody else from our game? No freaking way. No way this little shit lived. Who is that? <laughs> I did it, robo fucker. Is it Kibo? Oh, pff, no. I would, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm glad me. I love Miu. I love Miu, too, okay? And I get to do the Kazuna. Actually, originally, it was the Miu voice. <laughs> I get to do I get to do this again, too. So I was like, that's good, but man. I do fucking love Kibo so much. But I guess it wouldn't make sense since he made it to, like, the final three or whatever. Thank you, Gavin Denny. Seeing a lot of confusion. Kokichi told Rontaro the results of Trial 1. Rontaro, Rontaro told Kokichi... Kaide missed, so they don't know who killed Rontaro. Yeah, I just wasn't sure, um, I guess I told them there was a little trial one. I just thought that, uh, I couldn't remember Kokichi finding out that, uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, Kaide who did it. I couldn't remember when that was. It's not a big deal. I probably just misthought or whatever. But, uh, I got that, I got, like, what happened in the game. But thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. Hey, you little bitch. I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I didn't mean to put... I didn't mean to put Gross Fur back up, even though he is very handsome. Okay. You little bitch. I'm gonna... Man, lots of characters in V3. Ah, oh, hey, Mihiru. Okay, okay. Well, both of you shut up. I'll shut up when your hair doesn't look like an... Oh, <laughs> oh my... Gokichi uncensored. Thwop. Ow, be gentle with me, boyfriend. It was meant to knock your shit off, Kokichi. Not now shut up and stop starting arguments. He seems upset. Maybe I should try to defuse the situation. Hey, how about we introduce ourselves? Wow, we Kaide. Great idea, Kaide. <laughs> can I start? Can I, can I, can I, can I? Okay, okay. I'm the best boy, as everybody in the chat knows. And no one replied. <laughs> we all know who you are, you little shit. Hey, <laughs> great! I'm Kokichi Oma, and they call me the gr the ultimate, the ultimate supreme leader with a leader of ten thousand members. But the little bitch is more like the ultimate liar. <laughs> How dare you say that? I wouldn't trust jack shit of what comes from his mouth. 
Better than what you probably have in your mouth. <laughs> Damn, he really is uncensored in this version. All right, somebody please keep him, keep him quiet. Oh yeah, is that Mihiro? I guess Mihiro technically would be alive since the Danganronpa 2 cast lived. Like, oh my god, is this, is this a universe where the Danganronpa 3 anime doesn't exist? Truly my paradise. <laughs> It's okay, you know, I don't judge anybody who likes Dugged Rapper 3, but... Uh, mm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kind of... Oh. Aw, cute. Aw, it's good to hear Erica's voice, too. People usually call me Piano Freak rather than Ultimate. Oh, I'd love to hear you play a piece while I paint, Kaido. And no offense to Angie, but... Is painting really something to be thinking about in a time like this? Yes! Mondo! Oh, I love Mondo. I don't know if Chihiro would be in this one. I love Chihiro too, but I would love it if they were in this one. I was like, I guess we got alter ego screen time, but and Kokichi's here, so Chihiro could be here too, you know? What, what kind of voice do I give him? Do I give like the Kinjo voice? I've never done voices for the Danganronpa 1 characters. Just stop staring at me. I guess something like that, maybe? Y'all can just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Mondo. Oh, he deserves so much better, dude. This really is my Lulu land until they start, until they start inevitably dying. And what's your ultimate? Ah, uh, uh, um, Angie, ultimate biking leader. You really can't be an ultimate biking leader. <laughs> Weird, <laughs> ultimate butter. Rantaro, the ultimate rancher. Rantaro paused for a moment, almost as if he was hesitant to continue. Does he not remember his... Oh, he still doesn't remember it? I don't remember my ultimate talent yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Ultimate question mark. And finally, my turn. All your lame intros nearly put me to fucking sleep. The girl genius herself. <laughs> Ultimate foul mouth is more like it. Uh, that's you in this fan game so far, Kokichi. I'll pummel your little monkey ass, Kokichi. Oh, I don't doubt it. How scandalous to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> and do I... <laughs> oh, wow, pretty judgy, seeing as you're the one. <laughs> Enough, you two are insufferable. <laughs> I'll give her a little bit of a deeper voice. <laughs> Yay, Mihiru! We like, we're like, wait, didn't Mihiru live through Danganronpa 2? It's like, no, she just had a heart attack right after the Danganronpa 3 anime. <laughs> That's what she's gonna tell us. <laughs> if we want to figure out what's going on, we need to stop fighting. Eh, she started it. <sighs> you little. Oh, oopsie, wrong button. Ta do. I think the noise came from here. Oh, great. More dipshits. Okay. Suddenly, nine more people walked into the room. Let's see. Who else are we gonna have? Do, do, do. No fucking way. Uh, uh, uh. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, my God. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I fucking love Taka. Yes! The best, he's like literally my best boy from Dog and Rapa 1. He deserves so much fucking better, dude. Oh, God, please, please, please give them the arc that they deserve. I swear to God, if one of them dies, I'm going to cry again. And it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be like an ugly cry. Thank you, Andrew Marsh. This game would be the only instance where I've attempted, I've attempted to have Kyoko's death from Dog and Rapa 3 permanent. So she could appear in this game and we could hear your voice for her. Oh, yeah, it would be fun if Kyoko could be in here. But I guess she did get a lot of screen time, uh already but yeah that's the one the one way she could be in there although my hero is here so who knows who knows thank you for the dono appreciate ya ah uh, ishimaru i'm so fucking that's all i wanted dude if he if he dies again i'm gonna be so sad i'm gonna be so sad the gays are the gays are winning if god hates us why do we keep winning um mon no i'm good Ah! <laughs> You're super in already! <laughs> That's how 
fucking happy is the power of gay. Oh, heck yeah. Feels good to be out here, huh? Bro. <laughs> the bros are back, baby. I know. <clears throat> Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Appreciate you. Don't bro me. Closet cat. <laughs> Calling him out already? <laughs> Calling him out saying he's in the closet already? Is she Maru? <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll stop. I'll try to stop fangirling, but it's hard. It's it's hard. Don't bro me, closet case. Anyway, anyways, told you dipwads. Oh, wait, no. Don't bro me, closet case? Oh, who's saying this? Is actually, is this somebody else? Or, no, wait, is this him? Don't bro me, closet case. Anyways, told you dipwads. People were here, eh? Is that, is that him? Uh, moving on, I stood up to greet everybody. Uh, hi, I'm Kadia Kamatsu, ultimate pianist. Oh, Buki. Aw. Aw, she deserved better, too. Buki was so cute. Sad she died in, like, probably one of the worst, uh, <laughs> probably one of the worst Dying and Rampa trials ever. <laughs> or, like, chapters ever. I kind of like the trial, but not not the chapter very much. Say it like, e Buki, me, oh, hmm. Uh, someone slaps a hand over a Buki's mouth. Ah, yes! Oh, Gundam! Oh, this is Dark Davis, too. This is like, this whole stream is just me fangirling. This is why I wanted to play this game, because I was like, I just get to see everybody again, and I get to be super excited. I get to see them all with you guys. Silence, mere mortal. We've had enough of your babbling. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can. Hell yeah, you can. Damn it, I like everybody so much. <laughs> Wait, you said uh, we? Yes. And uh, yay, they're back too. Aw, the little guys. Hey, little guys, you're so cute. Yes, I and my malevolent army, the four dark devas of destruction. Oh my god, hamsters, they are so adorable. Oh, um, thank you, mortal. <laughs> you gotta look like this. Ah! <laughs> the whole thing is literally just me fangirling. Oh my god, Makuro! Although... <laughs> Girl, girl, I am. I am a little sus of you. I'm so sus of you. Like, we're in a death game and you're here. <laughs> I'm not going to be very trusting of you. You both are getting excited in this dumb place. That's just dumb. Don't be so down. What's your name? I can't believe she's here, though. I'm... Mu is it Mukuro or Makuro? I think I might have honestly been saying it wrong my whole life. Makuro Kasaba, the ultimate soldier. Oh my god. I'm like, finally, we get to see her actual sprites! Oh god. <laughs> oh god, Karekio. <laughs> is it bad that I kind of want Angie to kill Karekio? That'd honestly be kind of hysterical. <laughs> that would honestly be kind of epic. If I do say so myself. The ultimate soldier. Not the type of soldier I'd expect to see. But you seem like you'd get along very well with my <laughs> my sister. And she's like, don't fucking do it. Don't fucking listen to this crazy shit. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm highly trained in thousands of fighting styles. <laughs> don't don't ask about sister. If you're planning to attack me, it isn't a wise choice. It'd be kind of funny if it was Junko dressed as Makuro this time. Very well then. And now that the spotlight is on me. My name is Karekio Shinguchi. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Okay. Maybe I should give it more of a creepy voice. And I see something quite beautiful over there. Um. <laughs> hey, he's already taken! He's already taken! Excuse you, Kyo! Uh, um. <laughs> Mario, protect your man! Uh, what's that supposed to mean? You, you're trying to. Oh, hell yeah! Uh, yes! Yes! Jairo! Oh my god. I love this game. This is the greatest game I've ever seen in my life. It's not even a game, technically. I love this. I love it here so much. I've really turned into the ultimate fangirl. Hey, let's let's not argue, P please. Aw, oh, you look like such a sweet little girl. What's your name? Oh god, Kaide, you're about to get canceled. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Yay, Chihiro! Oh, I love Chihiro so much! Because I feel like Chihiro just deserves so much better, too. Like, I regretted not doing their, like, free time events. Because I was like, ah, they last a while. They seem important enough. And I'm a boy. Okay. I was kind of wondering what they were going to do with that. Oh, I, I didn't know! I'm so sorry! It, it's okay. I, I get it. I'm Kiyotaka Ichimaru. <laughs> I believe in bold simplicity. The actual best boy, Kiyotaka. Ah, oh, I love. Look at 
happy we were talking so much. I promise, for as long as I'm here, I... Uh, whoa! Suddenly, Ishimaru was grabbed by... Karekio. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why do all the pretty ones talk so much? Karekio let Ishimaru slide away awkwardly. Oh, my God! Kaido, wow, that's a lot of people from V3. Enough of the shit, Karekio. I can't think of... Fucky's probably the original Kenjo voice. Another thing about it. Ultimate astronaut. I like Kaido. I remember he was kind of controversial when V3 first came out. It's really good to see you, Kaido. Aww. You too, Kaido? Uh, Kaido. I missed you. Oh, Sayaka. You guys are all so rash. It's giving me a headache. Oh my god. There's so many people here. I'm like, are we at 16 already? I kind of felt like we were already at 16. Yeah, keep on yapping, to toots. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to come over here and say that again? Even better, you bring... <laughs> you bring the knife this time. You want to try... You want to do this whole shit again? Oh, boy. You're fucking kidding me. We died and you're still... You're still hung up over that? Everybody in the Phantom's like over it. <laughs> Sayaka, come on. <laughs> They're all shipping us together. They got over that real quick. You need to get over it, too. Do you want me to be okay with being trapped with my murderer? Uh, you tried to kill me first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, look where that got us in another one of these fucking killing games. Okay, enough of this tweedle d dumb and tweedle dumber. Just introduce yourself so we can get this shit over with. Humph. Mizono. I said Mizono. Siaka Mizono. Ultimate pop oh, sensation. What's up? The ultimate baseball star. <laughs> okay, I'd be kind of curious to see how Leon's personality is in the rest of the game, too, because he also did not get, like, uh, very much, whatchamacallit, like, screen time. So, a bunch of ultimates in one place. <laughs> um, this isn't looking so good. You're wise. And what, what voice do I give him? You're wise to assume. Um, uh, that, but it, it isn't the case, I assure you. Hey, wait, is this video tiled Dong and Rampa? Oh, god damn it, never mind. How so? My group and I searched every part of the school, and there was no danger. No death traps, nothing. It was all actually safe. Mm. But this is Hope Speak Academy. Why else would we be here? Suddenly, a voice came over the speakers. <laughs> The thing about that! Hello! The, I hope this is working! That's gotta be Monokuma, right? But hi, everyone! I set this entire experience up to help you! To do that, you'll all need to come to the gym! Everyone exchanged weary looks. Uh, what should we do? Ah, oh, yeah, Celeste would have been a good character to put in this game, too. I could see that. Slowly, everyone turned to... I'm so happy Makuro is here, though. Oh, that's awesome. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm I'm not. Kaida, you're the best bet for a leader, please. <sighs> okay. Ah, oh, thank you, Zelda Lesbian Elf. Oh, wow. Thanks for being a member for 15 freaking months. Wow. Thank you so much. Can't join, but hope you have fun. Love your stuff. Ooh, ooh. Oh, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good day. Okay. I say we go to the gym because the voice wasn't... Oh, it wasn't him. <laughs> Even though Weeby did the Monokuma voice. It was someone else, and they seem really friendly, too. Maybe Monami? I agree. Yeah, me too. I feel like I could give her maybe... Maybe Mahira could get, like, the now voice. What did I do for now? God, it's been so long, I can't remember. Oh, as well. Great, then let's get going. We all began to walk down the halls, the ones familiar with the school layout leading the way. I noticed a small conversation between Ishimaru and Mondo. <laughs> Ishimaru, what the hell was that? Has he just like randomly turned into a Super Saiyan version? I have no idea what you're speaking of. Oh god, is he gonna kill somebody in that form? Please god, please stop. Please stop the pain. Thank you, Krokichi. Oh, Kyokuro. Hi, we be super excited for this. Oh, thank you for stopping by. I love your icon too, it's so freaking cute. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my ultimate supreme leader tier will be back. I'll have to start adding uh, Kokichi emotes back to the chat, too. Uh, you don't? Let me ring a bell. Your fucking hair, your eyes, you turn into a completely different person. Uh, I... I... Before Ishimaru could really pro reply, we all arrived at the gym. 
Oh, great, we're here. Let's go inside. Ishimaru ran off, leaving his saddened Mondo. Aww. Hey, Mondo, I, I heard the lovers quarrel. You got it, buddy. Don't fucking sympathize with me. I hate soft or some lame shit like that. I, uh, I... Dude, chill. She was just trying to help. God. Oh, whatever. I just don't want to talk about her right now, okay? Ugh. Whoa, this place is so much bigger than my school's gym. Okay. Looks like the Dying Rampa 1 gym. Huh? Oh, thank you. Andrew Marsh. If I had to change one thing about Trigger Happy Havoc, Chapter 1 it would be to give Leon and Makoto canon hangout time like Siaka did so he could get some non-free time event characterization. Yeah, you know what? For whatever reason, whenever I played Dying Rampa 1, I ended up doing, like, I think a lot of Leon's free time events. I don't know why. I think probably because I was, like, really into music at the time and I was like, oh, I'll probably like him. But uh, thankfully, I kind of got to see him fleshed out a bit. But yeah, it would have been nice if he had some kind of, like, in game, you know, free time, like actual, like, uh, hangout events. Huh? Because he definitely seems like the least, uh, fleshed out character from the first game. Huh? Before everything, my school was only big with the arts, so it was much more scholarly than sportsy. Oh, Watua, I nearly forgot. Kaide, I have to ask. Oh, great. Everyone's here. Maybe it is Monami. I guess Angie's question would have to wait. I know this goes, you know, belly side eventually, though. Welcome, everyone, to a modified Hope's Peak Academy. <gasps> oh! oh, my God. Ah, yes. <laughs> Alter ego. You're probably going to die soon whenever, whenever Monokuma shows up. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, it's Jihiro again. Fujisaki, is, is that... Uh, alter ego! And no offense, but didn't everybody here bite the dust? Or was it just me and. Come, 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 come. Please refrain from interrupting. I can explain fully, but I need your complete attention. You see a program known as. Oh shit. I was about to go. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and that's all the screen time you get. Is it? Is it okay? Uh oh. Uh, oh, god damn. Uh, fuck you, Mon- oh, bo, 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 bo. <laughs> That was a good one, huh? That was a good joke right there. Boop, 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 boop. Ahem, ahem. Hello, testing, testing. It's your best boy. Fujisaki, what has happened to your face on the screen? Why is it- Oh, there's no fucking way. <laughs> Mondo angrily approaches the screen. Just, just beat it up, Mondo. Oh, hell no. I ain't going through this killing game bullshit again. Um, I seem to recall a certain death cage calling your name, Mondo. You want to do it again, don't you? It was pretty fun. Now, now, don't be upset. We have a game to get to. Mondo stiffened at that, and he stood down instantly. So I heard, so I lead everyone wrong. Am I supposed to protect them? Oh, wait. Oh, so I led everyone wrong. I'm supposed to protect them. Wrong, wrong, and wrong again. Think you all understand what's coming next? Oh, uh -huh. Oh, no, he's lying. This can't be true. No, no, no. No one here would ever wish another painful end upon our peers. We... Oh, no, man. It was my Delulu land for a little bit, at least. We won't. Uh, oh, no. Thump. I guess, like, any kind of uh, large emotional reaction is what makes him transform. Oh, my God. Did he just pass out? Taka. Angel! Uh, no, my boyfriend move aside, Mondo! Um Mondo Correcchio rushed oh Mondo and Correcchio rushed over to Ishimaru while everyone else exchanged weary looks. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready! Because Mr. Monokuma's game is back in session! Yes, you're all so hyped, I can tell! Get ready for Hope Speak Academy! Redemption! Redemption Rampa! Oh, boop, 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 boop. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> the the dying rapper three laugh. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we all kind of goofed on that back when that was airing. Oh, what happened? Who's that? That um. Oh, maybe maybe AI uh, uh alter ego again. I'm not sure. Uh, vit. A vit. Vit, 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 vit. Find a way to fix it. We can't let another one access the project. Hmm. Y yes, sir. Okay. It's like somehow. <laughs> 
like a black screen. I'm like, oh my god, what if it's Kenjo? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh god, I'm so delulu. <laughs> what if it's Kenju some Kenju Kenjo Kenjo somehow? Oh yeah, this is the opening. Hopefully, uh, the music's probably okay, right? Okay, we can watch the opening too. I think that'll probably be fun to watch. I think it makes sense to watch it after the prologue too. Powering on. Dot, dot, dot. Ready! Uh. Trigger Happy Havoc. Have like all the titles. Nice. This is such a good idea. Having all the uh, characters back again, you know? I wouldn't mind more people making uh, fan games kind of like this. It's like fleshing out characters, you know? Yeah! I like the logo too. It looks nice. Oh, thank you, Bree. Hi, Weeby. Finally made it to the stream. Thanks for stopping by, Bree. Happy you're here. Yeah, I try to turn this down. Ah, oh, Makaro! Yes! Let oh, God. Oh, God. It's already too late. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't finish the word, guys. So, therefore, I did not jinx her yet. Okay? Don't worry. She's not jinxed yet. Right? Right? <laughs> right? Just, just tell me that. Oh, trust me, maybe there's a lot of them. Oh, really? Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's probably just like the first one. Kokichi, yes! <laughs> oh, man. Ah, thank you, Minoka Otanakoji. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, I am late. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Guys, you didn't hear anything, okay? We're gonna edit it out of the VOD. <laughs> It'll be fine. She won't be jinxed. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, remember your death? Just in case you forgot. <laughs> oh, Chihiro! <laughs> Kiyotaka! Kaido! <laughs> oh, man. So many of my favorite characters. I'm so stoked. I'm excited. Nice. Nice. Cool. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited we got to start this. Okay, yeah, I guess we can do daily life. I don't know if we'll get to, um, I don't know if this is gonna include, like, the first victim in this or not. I guess it might. I guess we'll see. I'm not totally sure if we'll be able to get all the way there, but, yeah. Oh, thank you, Andrew Marsh. I was talking about before I had a cool opening. I'm sure you could commission somebody, if anything, if you don't know how to make one yourself, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure it does take a lot of, um, <laughs> a lot of, uh, like, you know, I don't know, manpower to be able to make something like that. Thank you, Bless Bane! Especially if it's like original characters. Thank you, Bless Bane! I have never been so fine with Kyo's writing seemingly being revised. <laughs> While also wanting him nowhere near Taka. Yeah, I kind of like his uh, obsession with Taka. Even though it's not something I would have expected. I was like, is that like a popular ship of some sort? I was like, man, I feel like, uh, I feel like nobody would ship anybody with Kareki, <laughs> honestly. You wouldn't expect it at least. Ishimaru is down for the count, and Kurekio and Mondo approached. <laughs> They're fighting over him, as they should. Everyone else hopefully stared, hopelessly stared at the half bear, the half and half bear on the monitor. Come on now, don't be shy! Everybody! <laughs> Shut up, Siri! Stop talking to me! Smile with your headmaster! <laughs> Trudy the dog and rumpet three laughed. This has gotta be a joke, there's no way! There's no way he's, he's actually, we're actually, he's not. She's right. This is some sick joke. It's gotta be. You should see your faces. Boop, 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 boop. Despair. Oh, I love it so much. I can't wait to see how desperate you all get again. I'm trembling with excitement. Oh, hell to the no. Oh, I can't wait to execute you guys again. That was so fun. Um... Dude's right. What the hell are you on about? Like hell, I'm gonna stick through another bullshit game. <laughs> you didn't even Come on, Leon. You weren't really in it that long, okay? He did kind of get screwed, though, because he didn't even know about the trial, I think, honestly. Last time I got... I... You did get one of the worst executions, though. Yeah... Ah, oh, trauma. Good times. Good times. Uh, you're not over that trauma yet. Come on, dude. That was like a whole ten years ago. At a loss for words. Um. 
Well, that's a shame. I was really hoping to hear your motivational speech, Mr. Kuwata. That'd be your time to be a leader or something. What gain do you wish to achieve from this game? There's no purpose. Yeah, I want to hear your opinion. Are you run by... Uh, mm, ja ah, 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 no doing! Deep, dark, and beautiful! But to clarify, no, she's long gone. If only she was here to compete with you guys. You guys would love that, right? Oh, thank you, puppy prince. I may be incredibly confused since I just arrived, but more Shimando is always a welcome surprise. I feel you. Yeah, it's basically like all a bunch of characters who had died in previous games get a second chance in a killing game. I'm not really, they haven't really explained how they're alive, though. I kind of honestly assumed it was some kind of like second chance of life game, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Thank you for the uh, donation, appreciate ya. Makuro paled and then stepped away. Unsure of the situation, please tell me you're not still a Junko simp. Well, now, if you're all done interrupting moi, I can finally get to the best part. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Dear students of the new and improved Homespeak Academy Redemption, all of you know me as your lovely and endearing headmaster, Monokuma. <laughs> yeah, Junko's like, uh, she's like Voldemort. Don't say her name, girl. She'll come back. I am so happy to announce a brand new game featuring the ultimates we all had in the prior classes. It's like an all-star cast. Woo! Now, everybody, please familiarize yourselves with our new oral surroundings. I guess it might be like a combination of all the uh, different um, like locations, too. So they're going to go to the third floor, and all of a sudden, it's an island. Glance at the rules and be sure not to break them. Hey, you guys know them, though. You've done this before. That's all. Have a great fucking day, you guys. No. Kaide, calm down. You're doing it again. Freaking out again. Stay calm. I'm not gonna calm down, damn it! Play another one of these stupid games. I'm sick and tired of everything. I'm tired of this. How can you all just sit in silence again? He wants us to be afraid. He wants us to become nothing just so we'll fall into despair like last time. Don't, don't you get it? He's just playing with our heads again. And we just sit here in shock like the times before this. You all know that we can't let him win. Everyone was silent for a moment. Kaide is right. We are all fucked. Everyone turned to Angie. We must keep level heads and prevent any tragedy from striking our newly found group of ultimates. We mustn't succumb to his levels, even if we are all in an inevitable trap of despair. I swear on Atua, I won't let it happen either, Kaide. Let's all live here forever! Me too. I'm not gonna let Monokuma get the best of anyone. I don't want to play any more of his games. Fujisaki's right. We all suffered at the hands of Monokuma, and we won't do it again. Yeah, we'll tear that stuffy to shreds. <laughs> oh, God. No, fuck you, Kokichi. <laughs> That's who I assume it is laughing. Everyone turned in shock to see the one giggling. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Another one of these games. I love this, even though I got a redemption arc, kind of. <laughs> Why the hell are you laughing? Did you get a redemption arc, you little shit? And because you're all idiots. Oh, God. Hey, you think you'll just beat Monokuma by what? Holding hands and being cheesy? Has that ever worked? Like hell. Like hell would that... Will that do anything? Kokichi, you... Hey, you don't want to hear it, toots. <laughs> Old man now. Toots. You idiots can laze around and think that you'll save the day and try to hope for the best. <laughs> but me? I'm not spending another second with you idiots. G get a riddance, Kokishi. We didn't want a lying son of a bitch in here anyways. And shut your mouth, Miyu. I can smell your breath from over here. God. Kokichi, quit it. And make me green bean. I'm not quitting anything because you're all just petrified of the truth. So keep doing your happy hand holding and kumbaya, but I'm fucking out of here. Kokichi stormed off, leaving everyone in silence again. Kaide, are are you? Hi, it's interesting to see Kokichi. 
<laughs> Forget it. Forget Kokichi. We need to escape. And we aren't going to do what Monokuma wants us to. The mortal is correct. We must forget the flippant individual and push forward to escape on our confines. Oh, thank you, Andrew Marsh. Uh, what's Weeby's prediction for the first victim? I feel like it's probably somebody who lived a long time in one of the other games, like maybe Kaido or uh, Kokichi. I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Kokichi, honestly, just because he's like, I'm gonna go off by myself. <laughs> Don't bother me. I'm gonna be alone in this dark hallway <laughs> with weapons surrounding me. But nobody, nobody can bother me. I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of Rontaro in V3, you know what I mean? The mortal is correct. We must forget the flippant individual and push forward to escape. Yes, Scarface is right. We need to get out of here before that bear taints more of our group members. Uh, you know, I wonder if the Mikado voice would actually be, be good for Kyo. I feel like Kyo is kind of sassy too. And then it's settled. We can all get into teams of three and look around. Mondo, I want you to take care of Ishimaru and make sure he's okay. Yeah. Oh, she ships it too, just like me. She's just like me for real. If he's up for searching, if he's up for searching, you can help me out. Um. Okay, is everyone clear on the plan? Everyone looked determined and agreed. Great, then let's get started. Everyone dispersed and went to do their own discovering. Kind of wonder what this building's gonna look like. Do you do? Any excuse to use the Mikado voice? Honestly, me. <laughs> Honestly, you see, you get me exactly. I stayed back with Mondo and an unconscious Ishimaru. Mondo, how is Ishimaru? He's fine. Breathing's all right. I'm just worried about his head. He had a heavy dip. Do you need any help taking him to his dorm? No, I got it. Not right to make the lady do the work anyways. Do you know where the dorms are, Mondo? Sadly, yes. I'll lead the way. Okay. I guess sorry, just kind of been past that area. We walked out of the gym and into the hallway again. I allowed Mondo to lead the way to where the dorms are supposed to be. So, you were in a killing game. Cool, me too. Me too. It's obvious, everyone here was. Otherwise, we wouldn't be scared of the fucking bear. Sorry, uh, just you, you seemed on edge, so you know, I was trying to make small talk, but I guess everyone is. Hey, you were executed too, right? Oh my god, carry him bridal style. <laughs> oh my god. It's just gonna be me fangirling this whole freaking game. <laughs> oh. Oh, sigh. I appreciate you checking up on me and cheering everyone up, Kaide. We need people like you in these places. Thank you, Mondo. I'm, I'm glad you think so. We continued down the hall until we arrived at a set of doors. This is it. His dorm should have a picture of him on it, if it's the same as last time. I turned around and looked, seeing a few names until I saw the pixelated portrait of Vishimaru. Beside his room was Chihiro's and Angie's. You've been to his room before? <laughs> oh, oh, interesting. Ah, oh, Kaida, you're just like me for real. Oh, yeah, we're bros, okay? We're just hanging out like bros do, okay? Sometimes bros kiss each other a little bit, kind of. It's normal. It's normal. <laughs> so it's in the same place as last time, huh? <laughs> sure, whatever. N no need to yell. I, I understand. Okay. What was that? <laughs> right, just help me get to the door, will ya? I rushed over the door and pushed it open. Inside was a neatly kept room with a few things tailored to Ishimaru. Jeez, he must be a neat freak. I'm gonna set him down on the bed. You can get him a cold cloth. Can you get him a cold cloth in the bathroom? Of course. As I went to the bathroom and filled Mondo's request, my mind couldn't help but linger on something. It this too seemed kind of gay. <laughs> I just couldn't stop thinking about it. As I walked back out and handed Mondo the cloth, I decided to say something. 
Mondo, did you die in your killing game? Yeah, I guess they wouldn't know that. Ugh! Yeah, that's true. I guess they wouldn't have realized that yet. Especially people like Kaede who died like so early on. The fuck you asking that for? I was just curious. It seemed that Rontaro and I died, but we're back. Because, yeah, she wouldn't even know that Angie and, like, Kokushi died. And you guys, well, you... Mind your own fucking business, you got that! I I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I was just asking! Um, Kyodai. Kyodai. Thanks for the save, Ishimaru. <laughs> Ishimaru, are you okay? You need anything? Water? Food? A hug? A tender embrace? Ishimaru adjusts the cloth on his forehead, slightly before weakly standing. Whoa, whoa, sit back down! You just fucking passed out like ten minutes ago! Language, Mondo. Apart from my lack of conscience, I'm fine. I wish to assist our group mates in our given task. Yeah, Ishimaru, you wanna be a leader too. No way. In he he heck. Actually, we're planning we're planning on looking around a bit to find an escape. <laughs> yeah, that's totally gonna work, just like last time. Was it like the death road of despair? <laughs> Maybe we'll find that again. If you're up for it, we could use the help. Of course, it would be my honor to help you beat the The killing game. The uh the uh 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 the trauma. It's coming back. Is everything all right, bro? Yes, I just, I just need... Is he okay? Ishimaru stumbled slightly and Mondo stepped forward to ease him back down onto the bed. Thought he was like transforming again for, for a second. Thank you, Kylo Graham. Two bros chilling in a sauna five feet apart. <laughs> five feet apart because they're not gay. That's literally, <laughs> that's literally Mondo and Taka except they were not five feet apart. <laughs> Thank you for the down, or thanks for being a member for nine months. For nine months, I appreciate ya. Kaida, you can go help the others. I'll stay with Ishimaru. Are, are you sure? No sense in keeping you around for no reason. It's fine. Okay, just be careful. Make sure Ishimaru ends up okay. Of course I will. Um, I'm his bro friend. Boyfriend. <laughs> there seems to be a bit more behind that. <laughs> just like me for real but I'll just leave them to it he might get mad again I left him in Ish Ishimaru's room and just as I shut the door I ran into someone oof let's see oh oh my gosh Ibuki is so sorry Kaide she didn't mean to bump into you in an instant I was pulled up harshly from the ground Ibuki ca careful oh yeah it'll be interesting to see people interact with people who like killed each other because just on chat Mondo hasn't apologized to Chihiro thus far it's like oh god that's gonna be so awkward I guess we saw like you know Kaede apologize to Rontaro but she didn't even technically do him man but gosh like uh I can only imagine how Chihiro would feel being around like Mondo after all that yikes yikes Ibuki careful oh yeah all the music girlies are here actually right you got Kaede Ibuki and Sayaka cute and my bad, Ibuki is just excited. She got tired of investigating with Koizumi and wanted to see if she could find the kitchen on her own. Uh, snacks? <laughs> now? Should we try to escape first? Investigating makes Ibuki hungry. Uh, would you like to join her? Do I want to join her in getting a snack? Hell yeah, you do. <laughs> Grr, grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> I guess so. I guess a snack couldn't hurt. The tropical music too. A snack sounds good, Ibuki. O oopsie. Amazing, Kaide. You can tell me about the piano. Oh, I hope they have like a little uh, concert together. That'd be cute. Uh, you really, you really want to know? Yeah, she's a freak just like you. Yes, Ibuki loves instruments, especially the ones that go. Da -na 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 okay, sure, bestie. <laughs> Whatever. Sounds good. Really, I prefer soft instruments like pianos or violins. Oh, pianos. What do those, those sound like again? 
As we enter the kitchen, I thought about the piano. Thank you, Rose Graham. Insert the close-up of the Kaede plush. Uh, slay. Don't tell her to slay. No, Rose, don't. Bad Rose, bad Rose. Don't tell her to slay because she will do it. Just like, uh, slay? Hmm. I, I feel like I've done that before. And maybe I should try one more time. <laughs> one more time. As we enter the kitchen. Uh, well, I'm the ultimate pianist. When he heard it, I get really cheery and my heart wells. It's so delicate and soft. It's very calming, too. So, it's... Soft. Like small. Dun dun. Dunna. Dun. Exactly. It's always so soft and delicate. It's amazing. I would love to hear you play sometime, Kaide. I'd love to play for you, Ibuki. What's your favorite instrument? I can't I can't wait for her to hear uh Buki's music. She's like, wow, that's Interesting, Ibuki. Very interesting. Oh, Ibuki loves the guitar or the drums. I like a lot of loud things. The guitar sounds cool. I've never really watched anyone play the drums, though. Then you can show me the piano and I can show you the drums. It'll be so much fun, Kaide. We looked around the kitchen's food storage area, confused. We had no idea where anything was. I forgot about that. Uh, oopsie. Uh, excuse me, ladies! <laughs> ah! <laughs> do 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 uh, Monokuma! Don't be so shocked, girls! This is my school, after all! Uh, what are you doing? Gathering food, of course! I need food too! I guess my theory about it being like their second chance at life probably is wrong. It's like, how the hell did Monokuma break into it? Unless it's like, okay, <laughs> there's dummies and everybody, all the Ultimates personalities were copied and pasted on like a, on a hard drive or some shit and they're all in like the Neo World program trying to get their memories back. And Alter Ego was gonna help bring them back to life so that Saihara and Maki and everybody who lost loved ones could be Delulu together. But now Monokuma's infiltrated. He's getting the USB personality drives to kill each other or something. It makes sense, okay, guys? No, the chat's gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about, Weeby? Thank you, someone unknown. Music early is Kaede, Ibuki, Siaka, Hibiki, Kunari. <laughs> yeah, God. Uh, I'd be kind of cute if they were here, too, though, honestly. Well, Hibiki. <laughs> By they, I mean Hibiki and Hibiki alone. Thank you for the dono. Appreciate ya. I don't know, though. It does kind of seem like some kind of, I don't know, Neo World program project, though. Just because of the way, like, the, you know, people in the dark were talking about it. I don't know. <laughs> are you guys, why are you guys hating on my, on my theories? But you're a... No more questions! Now you see the food here is stocked daily according to what is eaten. So no need to worry about starvation here. That's a relief. I didn't even think about there being no food. Now that'll be all, girls. Please proceed with your conversation. Oop, boop, 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 boop. I just wanted to feel wanted. Monokuma sunk down and disappeared before our eyes, and I couldn't even see where he went. Oh my god, dying up another redemption? That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. I glanced at Ibuki, who stared at the floor in confusion before shrugging and diving into the fridge. Kaede, what do you like to eat? Um, are there any cherries? I see. Come in the back. I'll grab you some. Oh, thank you. No, stop the stop the emote! Why are you guys trying to trying to traumatize me again? No. Oh god. Thank you, Madoka Otanakoji. Uh, not big sis Kanade. <laughs> oh no, dude. She was so scary. Thank you for the dono. Appreciate ya. Oh, man. Oh, th thank you. The time I was with Ibuki, I was pleasantly surprised at how well she engaged in conversation. She was actually interested in hearing me talk about pianos, and I'm glad. I'm gonna go take a nap now, Kaede. Thanks for hanging out with Ibuki. Of course, anytime. Stay safe, okay? I will not. <laughs> Always. See you later. Ibuki, out. You have serious problems, dude. What the fuck? Oh, Kaede, a similar with a flat chest, but common sense. Hey, she would think my chest was like concave. <laughs> I don't even want to know what she's doing with Karekio. 
any fucking ways. Can you please tell Mr. Mask over there that he's fucking weird? Our argument should be none of her concern, Aruma. So let's keep it that way. I think I kind of like that voice for him. You're worried someone other than me will. Fine, let's settle our second second argument. Kaede, do you believe that affairs you have no business in should stay private? Or maybe you're a nosy weasel too. Come on, Kaede. Ditch this long-haired freak and come hang out with me, the best girl. Now they're making me choose. <laughs> um, which killer do I want to hang out with? Um, well... Sorry. Sorry, Miu, but Kurekio is... Oh, sorry, Miu, but Kurekio is right. Any business I am... Any business I'm not a part of it shouldn't be made mine over silly things. Well, the argument was about how Kurekio has a big crush on Ishimaru. Enough! <laughs> Oh gosh. It might be for the best that Karekio's personality has changed, honestly. <laughs> let's let's you know, Karekio, as long as it gets you to move on from sister, I support it. I don't support Ishimaru going for you, but I, I support you going for him, if that, that makes sense. Thank you, Rose Graham. Danganronpa, Makoto and Kyoko pays the council tax. <laughs> Beautiful. What a great what a great fan gan idea. Thank you, Kroichi. Now I'm craving a crossover of fan gans. I know that'd be so fun. I would love a redemption Danganronpa and another. That would be awesome. Thank you for the dono, by the way. Appreciate ya. Enough. I guess I could always do like a Wheel of Fate with like a mixture of the Danganronpa 1 and 2 cast, but I don't know. <laughs> Enough. Um... Um, uh, Kaede, come with me. I believe we have our own matters to discuss together. Do we? Um, we do? Don't go, Kaede. Don't go. Before I knew it, Kurekyo was dragging me down the hall by the wrist, leaving an angry Miu behind us. Kurekyo pulled me into a secluded hallway, illuminated by a green light. He turned me- he turned to me looking cross. Um, sorry for... I wonder what they were talking about. Of course, you innocent girl tropes. <laughs> Tro am, am I just a trope to you? Tropes always feel the need to apologize. God, stop being so stereotypical, Kaede. Uh, huh? That's what I mean, Akamatsu. You always get confused and then you get that look. Oh, thank you, Andrew Marsh. You think Kyo will get a redemption? Pun intended, lol, in this fan gan. And survive to the end. Maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to see Kurekyo get redemption. He does seem pretty different uh, so far, though. So maybe. It is kind of fun seeing him simp over uh, Taka so bad. <laughs> thank you for the dono. Uh, what look? The fucking deer in headlights look. Your nose scrunches up and your eyebrows furrow. Worrying too much makes you pale. Uh, well... Uh... Since I'm feeling generous and because you saved me from that virgin disaster, let me give you some beauty tips. Um, she's already beautiful, Krakio. Did I really want beauty tips from Shinguji? And not at all, but it it'd be rude to decline, I, I think. <laughs> okay. Great, so first, stand up straight. Stick out your head. Let me try to... Makes you seem more powerful, taller too. I feel like a bird. <laughs> uh, like, like this? Not even close. You look like an awkward peacock. Ah, that's how I felt too. Damn it. I suppose we'll just have to work on all of this. Kurekio gestures to my entire outfit. A look of disgust on his face. <laughs> I know you're used to slaying, Kaede, but I'm gonna teach you how to slay for real, for real this time. You know, honestly, he's already kind of giving, getting his redemption. He's teaching us how to slay and serve in the real way, you know? And I, I respect that. I respect that, Kyo. <laughs> oh boy. No more slaying in the bad way, Kaede. As reluctant as I was, I stayed with Kurekio in the hallway and chatted about beauty and self-care and slaying. It was nice when he wasn't criticizing me. Hey, Kaide, wait up. Hum. I was wondering if you've seen Chihiro or Mondo around. Okay. I want to know if there's any safe places for my camera. Okay, interesting. 
My room is insecure. Monokuma said there's something wrong with my door. Uh-oh. Well, I saw Mondo taking care of Ishimaru, but Chihiro might be in the library? Or anywhere with technology? Um, alright, thanks. No problem. See you in the morning. Okay, it's already night time, I guess, too. Were we supposed to look for an exit? <laughs> no, we know that's we know that's pointless anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Let's just do the killing game thing. It'll it'll be faster than trying to find an exit anyways. Without a second thought, I made my way to my assigned room with little with little difficulty. I spared a glance at Ishimaru's even but proceeded at glanced at Ishimaru's even, but proceeded to my room. I fiddled with the lock momentarily, but I managed to secure the door. Quickly, I kicked off my shoes and laid down. Hopefully, everyone here remains as tranquil as possible. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, bam, 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 bam. Ooh. Um, open up. I'm trying to kill you, Kaede. Five more minutes. Is somebody just, like, banging on my door? Get out here already! How am I supposed to kill you if you don't get out here? Ugh, maybe it's Kokichi? I don't know, maybe he'll want to form an alliance or something? I guess we'll see. I stood from the bed and marched the door, opening it to reveal Ishimaru standing with Chihiro. Oh! Yeah, uh, Ishimaru, Chihiro, good morning. Good morning to you as well, Akamatsu-kun. Ah, oh, thank you, Kokichi. Crossover fangans, but twisted. But just twisted characters. Ah, oh, that'd be interesting. They're, they're dark. They're dark versions. They're like inverted versions. It'd be kind of interesting to see a fan again like that where like Kurekio is like the protagonist and like super sweet and like Kaido is like the evil murderer. Good morning! Ah, Chihiro, you're so fucking cute. What's up? Did something happen? No, but we'd like to request you to attend a meeting in the cafeteria. <laughs> You've committed the crime of not waking up at 6 a.m. sharp. We want to enable safety and review what we found during our investigations last night. All right, I'll head out ASAP. Excellent, Fujisaki-kun. Let's go to our next destination. Let's wake up the next person. Well, I guess I should head to the cafeteria then. I did to make it so sound so like intimidating. Bam, bam, bam! I left my room and across the hall, someone called out for me. Hey, Kaide, good morning. Kind of seems like we're gonna be close. Um. Oh, good morning, Rantaro. As Ishimaru and Shihiro scurried around, everyone seemed to be happier than yesterday. They were all talking with one another and walking to the cafeteria. Hey, you. Hey, you did this, you know. Making us all happy? Uh, what do you mean by that? Rontari gestured to everyone in the now walking group, smiling and chatting. You boosted their moods, made everyone hope for an opportunity to live through despair again. Everyone believes in you, and you did it all by yourself. No, uh, no I didn't. I I'm sure they don't believe in me. I mean, Kokichi, he... Yeah, Kokichi sucks. <laughs> I wouldn't count him. Kaido Kokichi is just one person. He's like short too. That's like half a person. Thank you, Downbeat Diaga. So glad you're getting a chance to react to this. Thank you. Appreciate you being a member too for five months. Thanks. I got no room to say. Oh, you know what? That fucking reminds me. Everybody on the subreddit was bullying me for the past like few weeks. And one of the posts was literally how Kokichi was like one inch taller than me. I was like, that's not cool, guys. I'm 5'2". On a good day, I think Kokichi's like 5'1", so technically, on a good day, I'm taller than her. Uh, him. <laughs> wow, Mr. Drink Me Weeby, fuck off, Kokichi. When I could squish like a bug, yeah. <laughs> just give yourself some credit for once and take my compliment. But yeah, just so you guys know, I saw that on the subreddit. I saw you guys bullying me. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Today's a new morning and I'm ready to get out of here. Guys, I know he's not taller than me on a good day though, okay? <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Now let's go meet up with everyone else. Rontaro followed me to the dining hall and what we found 
was shocking. Oh, so you're playing the victim now. Oh, him and Sayaka still going at it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Weeby. <laughs> it's not my birthday, but thank you, Kev. Didn't you do that last time too? It's be like the new meme. It's just coming and say happy birthday to me every stream. Ha no, no, Kev. Happy birthday to you. To you, Kev. Oh, man. So you're playing the victim now. I'm not playing the victim. I am the victim. Literally, you. Oh, yeah, Parentis. Keep yapping it up. You're an insufferable prick. Why do I feel like they're going to get together? Oh, excuse me. Um, what's going on here? They've been going at it since Leon accidentally bumped into her chair. You guys still say happy birthday to me in the chat? <laughs> They're rather loud, aren't they? These mortals are ruining the diva. The divas. Oh, the divas. <laughs> I think I meant to say Davas, but now I kind of want to call them the Divas. The Divas, oh, I see. Getting ready to slay, huh, Gundam? I see. Uh, thank you, Andrew. My prediction, Sayaka succeeds in killing Leon this time, creating a reversal of Trigger Happy Havoc Chapter 1. I could see that. I definitely feel like... I feel like there's definitely going to be at least one trial where, like, a victim kills a culprit. That's got to be something that happens, right? We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. I, I want it to be Angie killing Kareki, though, honestly. Because, like, the, when he killed Angie, though... Or, actually, no, it was uh, it was Tenko that was the one that ruined the crime. Because I think when Kyo, when Kyo killed Angie, it was actually kind of the perfect crime. Like, I think they got all the evidence from Tenko's uh, death. But I still want her to get revenge on him. These mortals are ruining the divas and their appetite. I'm displeased as the diva overlord. Uh, I agree. The bickering has been a disturbance upon me in my morning. And we've only been here for a day. It's ruining my skin. And no one has tried stopping them because anytime you try to get in between them, it gets worse. Happened to Barney over there. Barney? <laughs> That's like, oh my god. Hey, just because my hair is purple doesn't mean I'm Barney. <laughs> Never mind. Fine. Fujisaki and I overheard a commotion. What seems to be the issue? Siaka and Leon are arguing again. We can hear them all the way down the hall. You know, last time you bumped into me was you throwing me under the bed to stab. Jesus Christ. We're literally trapped here again. Why are you so cut? I murder you one time, bro. One time. You're going to hold that against me? Uh, talk about diva. Are you sure uh, that the divas aren't the hamsters? Because I think it's you. Oh, burn. Because you killed me, you red-haired, two-faced, baseball-playing son of a beep. And breakfast is ready. Oh, Angie. Uh, did we miss something? Angie and Mihirio came out and set plates down. They were filled with food. Only a large amount of yelling. Believe me, you didn't want to be here for that. You have quite the way with the words, Ishimaru. Guys, <laughs> such a simp. So down bad. Why, thank you, Shinguji-kun. <laughs> oh, Mondo, get your man. I work harder each and every day to accurately display my emotions through an accurate set of words that are assertive and accurate. I'm pleased to hear you enjoy my vocabulary so much. You're making my headache even worse. <laughs> Stop flirting back with him. Excuse me, owada but I'm simply chatting with my group mate. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's eat breakfast. Angie and Mihiro worked really hard, so... Forget conflict, you guys. Just so we can eat breakfast peacefully. Everyone seemed to silently agree, and they all began to seat themselves, starting to eat their meals. I took a seat beside Rontaro and Ishimaru. Everybody dig in! Mihiro did so great with the breakfast! I'm starting to imagine, like, Kiyo killing Mondo so he can get to Ishimaru. He, he seems like the yandere. Well, he, he literally is the yandere type. I was like, he seems like it. And then I was like, no. No, he literally is. So did Angie. She's an amazing cook. Everyone began eating, but a loud slam from the doors caused us to glance over. Oh my god, don't pass the butter to Mondo. 
<laughs> He'll get triggered. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh -huh, you, seem so, you seem so sad to see a little old me, Kaido. Uh, can you blame him? Or should I say Barney? I kind of like that nickname. I uh, can't say that I do. If all you're going to do is be mean to Kaido again, we don't want you eating with us. She's correct. Your behavior is unprecedented. And the diva. The diva. Are they just the divas now? The divas think so as well. They are serving and you are interrupting their serve. Disgusting. Uh, unforgivable. You're all ganging up on me. Uh, just like last time, right? They're new hamsters and they're named after RuPaul Drag Race. Uh, contestants. Oh my god. Slay. Serve, Gundam. I didn't say anything else. Uh, thank you, Maki Roll, for becoming an ultimate supreme leader and supporting the best boy as he's getting freaking bullied right now. You're all ganging up on me, huh? You have no reason bringing that up, you little. I just shut your mouth already, <laughs> dumbass. The four dashing divas of Drag Race. Unless I'm speaking directly to you, I don't want to hear your bullshit. Your small waver is from the hallway across the room, so do us a favor and just take a shower already. Kokichi, sweat, quit it! She can't help if she smells. Oh, don't act so high and mighty, piano princess. So what do you want us to do, Kokichi? All hate, all hate each other? You murdered your little boy toy, and now you act all sunshine and rainbows. Well, that won't fucking cut it. He's mine, Kaide. I worshipped an effigy of him. That's it. I'm gonna. Oh, what? You're gonna pummel me? Do it, please, Mr. Biker Boy. I'm begging to see you try it. Kokichi, that's enough. Coming here to eat is fine, but starting trouble is a whole other thing. Wasn't it Kokichi who told Rontara in the first place that Kaede didn't do it? I guess she did still try to, like, um, whatchamacallit, like... Yeah, she did attempt to kill him, but come on, she didn't, she didn't succeed in it, Kokichi. That totally, that totally removes any blame, right? <laughs> right, guys? I'm not starting trouble. I'm telling the truth. There's no truth in your words. So, you didn't kill Rontaro? It's like, we already established this, Kokichi. I, I... I only tried to, okay? Exactly, so quit cutting me off, God. Poor Kokichi, you worship an effigy of Rontaru and this is how you're paid back. You all act like this will go any better than the last time. That, that you aren't stuck with literal murderers. Half of you are acting all buddy-buddy attached to the hip with someone who killed you. Have you guys even apologized? The only two who realize that are Sayaka and Leon. But even those dumbasses can't stop arguing over it. Hey! Yeah, yeah, you got a problem with that? It's like, I mean, I get what Cookie is saying, but it's like, if we're pissed off about, you know, everybody killing each other, then it's like, how is that gonna help us survive the killing game? You know what I mean? I guess, like, being Kumbaya and all that's not great, too, but, you know. Thank you, Downbeat Diaga. Watching the stream from the beginning. Right now, here's my thoughts. Kyo, you should meet my sister, Bakuro. Actually, you should meet my sister. <laughs> She's like, I'm the only person who has a worse sister than you do. Uh, thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. Yeah, you got a problem, man. Didn't I say to shut up? It's like none of you fucking listen to me. God, I'm so misunderstood. In case you weren't aware, your cute new friends are all murderers. A handful of you have killed to escape and failed. Isn't that right? Unlike me. Ooh! Fuck him up, Kaido. I hope that was you. Huh? Looking up, I saw something unexpected. Oh! He slapped him? Oh my god! Oh, I guess he's... Oh, no. He has to remember what Mondo did. Don't trigger him, Kokichi. He's very delicate. Specks of his hair flickered white, but it went back to its original black shade. Uh, I just feel like he's going to kill somebody in, like, the Super Saiyan form. Also, I know it's not the Super Saiyan form. I just like to call it that. 
His red eyes were flowing rivers of tears. We've had enough of your behavior, Oma. Stop it! Let us stay, Delulu! It's unacceptable for you to treat anyone like this, regardless of their past actions. We are here to learn from our mistakes and grow as people, not clutch desperately onto the deaths of others. And me? Desperate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, buddy. It was wrong for me to do such a rash action to stop your ranting. But if you proceed, I cannot promise it won't happen again. Refrain from your behavior at once. In your dreams, fucking Mondo. Mondo. Uh, oh, no. That instead. Just saw him getting cut off. I was like, does Mondo fuck him up? Aha, uh -huh, my, my beautiful students! I'm so sorry for the lack of a good morning message to you all. My systems weren't working quite as well as I had planned. <laughs> Kokichi, stop! Uh, so are they going to start using the butter? <laughs> they had to hide the butter, okay? It's it's very upsetting, okay? It's too soon. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, donation. <laughs> My systems weren't working as planned. So no worries. Now all is in check. Yay, we can start killing each other. Now, if you would kindly go to the gym, I have a surprise for you. Don't be late. Oop, boop, 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 boop. Kokichi was giggling as he glanced back over to everyone who now seemed on edge. There's another reason we shouldn't be happy here. This is like a death game. Do you guys forget about that part? No, don't sit there all shocked. We have to go meet Mr. Monokuma. Kokichi exited before everyone else, seeming satisfied with himself. What uh what a fucking piece of <laughs> Kinda of, no curse words! Don't give him the time of day. Let's just go see what Monokuma wants from us, okay? Oh thank you, Andrew Marsh. Wow, twenty dollars. It's very generous. Don't worry about the super sand sem semantics. I read a fanfic one time of the trigger happy cat. Trigger Happy Havoc cast, pre-tragedy. Watching the events of Trigger Happy Havoc, and when they saw Taka transform, Hifumi exclaimed, he was Super Saiyan. I was like, I feel like there was an actual like name for it, but I just can't remember, so I always call it Super Saiyan. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just go. After we all went to the gym, after that we all went to the gym where the all too familiar Monokuma sat, Kukichi saw, sat on his knees, beneath it like a child. <laughs> There's to be like bowing. Oh, Monokuma, Sana. <laughs> Please spare me, first victim, even though I'm going off by myself and being sus. Well, it's about time you schmuck showed up. Between you and me, I was getting a bit creeped out by Sir Giggles. <laughs> In the corner. Uh, don't be so harsh, Monokuma. I'm only trying to be besties. <laughs> See, even Monokuma doesn't want to talk to you. You know that's bad. We should all just shut up and listen to the damn bear. Wow, I'm impressed! I didn't even have to kebab any of you this time! Yay! Uh, you! <laughs> you remember that time, Makaro? Good times! Good times! It's your big sis again! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, just like Koizumi said! Quiet! Because it's time to announce your very first... Motive! Okay. Motive? Kind of curious to see what these will be. Ah, uh, yes, a motive! More specifically, a motive to kill! Ooh! The very first motive is if you kill, you... If you kill, you and a select... Oh! You and a select participant get to escape? What the fuck? The very first motive is if you kill, you and a select participant get to escape Hope Speak Academy! That's right! For the first time, two people can escape the academy! Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Oh, with all these freaking ships developing too, of like Mondo and Taka. I love you guys, but don't do it. <laughs> don't. Okay, well, maybe I should just tell the rest of the group to like sacrifice themselves for them. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, just let it, just let it happen. <laughs> They deserve it. Honestly, it was reminding me of the sacrifice card from uh, Your Turn to Die. I was thinking that too. Is like, we got the sacrifice! Woo! 
Give it the right to push a nudge here or there. Anyone can do it. I mean, look at Mizuno, for example. She... Back off, man. You don't need to bring that shit up. We've been hashing it out all morning. My, my, my! Feisty today, aren't we, Kawada? Oh, well! Now that you're clear on the motive, you are all dismissed. What makes you think we're gonna? Like, come on, there's so many ships developing, of course you are! Monokuma sank through the floor in an instant and disappeared, leaving everyone clueless and afraid. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here, especially if some of you lunatics are murderers. Oh god, Kiyo is gonna be like, oh yes, me and my beloved, my beloved Taka, who does not even know I exist. Hey, not everyone here is a killer. <laughs> well, most of you are. I'm not taking any chances with you guys, unlike me who would never even think of murdering anybody ever. Uh, Miyu, are you forgetting? No, I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, how do you know Kuhichi wasn't bullshitting you to get the jump on you? Not everything I say is a lie, <laughs> meathead. Oh, shut up, you! <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect to see to see somebody call Kuhichi a twink. <laughs> oh, shut up, you little twink! The dark R of this motive is odd. This motive does not slay in the good way. It is not serving. Please, everyone, calm down. Otto is growing displeased and is worried for you all. No, Miu is right. <laughs> I can't. Makuru, don't say that. We can't. <laughs> no, she's right, and I mean it. We were forced into despair. We are forced into despair time. Ah, ah, not to be confused with the Danganronpa despair time. And time again. Every time someone topples the domino of murderers. Stay together if you'd like, but I'm going back to my room for the night. I suggest you all do the same. Yeah, I mean, she's probably got a point. No, Makuro, please wait. She's like, I don't have somebody to couple up with. Okay, so I'm a target here. God, is she's correct on her assumption? I don't know, now I'm starting to think correctly I was gonna slay. Nothing has stopped any of us before, so what is stopping us killing again? I do like this motive though, I'll have to incorporate this in my Will of Fates. We are under the same circumstances now that a motive is introduced. Nothing is stopping anyone from repeating the same thing twice. No, I will not let that happen! Enough with the bullshit, isn't it obvious? You talk for being- you talk big for being such a puny little kid that I could crush beneath my foot. <laughs> Watch it, bud. Please! Please stop fighting! You talk big too, Mr. Iwata. What are you gonna do? Punch me? Kick me? Even better, kiss- <laughs> Kiss me? Oh no, stop it! <laughs> Don't embrace me! <laughs> Don't embrace me, Iwata. No, that'd be too much. I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my pal Shimaru told you to knock off your crap, Oma. Oh, I changed again. Oh, great. Now you're here too. Cool. Great. I restrained myself before, buddy. But I ain't gonna let you come in here and freaking ruin everything. Akamatsu worked way too hard, and in no way in heck, uh, in heck, oh no, he said, he said a bad word, oh my god, Ishimaru, don't say heck, that's too, that's too bad, YouTube's gonna censor my stream, no way in heck am I gonna let you disrespect me or Ishimaru, so back off! Slam, uh oh shit, Manu maybe, gonna punch, oh, Ishimaru, don't shove him so hard. Oh, no, Ishimaru did it. Damn. It's Ishida, Blondie. I was going to ask. I was like, I remember him having like a different name in this form, too. Kiyondo Ishida. Get it right. You got that? Oh, God, he's totally going to murder in that form. I just feel it already coming. All right, you're taking it too far. Get lost. Got a problem with it? Then you go. You know what? Fine. Rantaro, please! I'm sorry, Kaide, but I can't. 
Rontaro stormed off. Even cool, calm, and collected left. And now if anybody else wants to live, he should go too. You guys, come on, please don't do this. Can't you see you're tearing us apart, Kokichi? Sorry, Kaide, but he's he's right. One by one, everyone began to file out and left me behind in the gym. With just the best boy. Or mostly everyone. Is it Kokichi? I was like, why is she smiling? Oh, Angie! Kaide, oh please, don't be so distraught. It pains me to see you this way. Angie's right. Ibuki loves Kaide and her company. And seeing, and seeing you upset is making me sad. Yeah, please, don't be sad. All, all the sweethearts. Thanks, guys, but it's it's just... After yesterday, I figured we could get along well enough to get out of here, but everyone's bickering and yelling, and now... Well, now look at what happened. Kaidi, do not be so hard on yourself. I'm certain that you'll be able to get them hoping in no time. You'll get them on that opium again soon enough. You sound so sure. You have too much faith in me, you know that, right? We do put a lot of faith in you, but it's because we know you'll use it for good. To do good for us. In the end, Kaide. Jihiro's right. We all believe in you, whether you're upset or not. Well, everybody is wholesome in Angie. Angie's been pretty wholesome so far in this game, but... I don't know, it's kind of hard to trust her. I feel like she's going to do like the cult thing again, honestly. That's why she's being so like happy. She's like, yes, another opportunity to try out my cult thing. No matter what, Kaide, we'll follow you to the end because we know you'll do an amazing job at leading us. Thanks to you guys, I think I'm going to go to my room. I'm still kind of tired and this whole thing really wore me out. Okay, stay safe, Kaide. Yes, rest well. Bye, Kaide. You know, Hiyoko would have been another good character to add for a game like this. Bye, you three. See you later. I feel like she's another character that's kind of regarded. Pretty and, like, I don't know, unanimous? I don't know. Unanimously, I think that's it. Like, uh, unanimously is like a character that should have gotten a better arc. Soon I entered my own room and I fell back asleep in no time. Kaide, Kaide, can you hear me? Rontaro, maybe? Huh, who's there? Kaide, um... What? What the? Oh my god, did I get tasered or something? Bzz. Um... Listen to me, it, it's me. Is it like Sahara or something? From beyond the computer? Oh my god, no, Kyogro! Not the name change, I'm dead! Who do you think will live? Um, oh god, hopefully Kaide. She's really the only one so far that I'm thinking is gonna live. Hopefully Rontaro too, since he also kind of like... I don't know, he seems like he's gonna be like the helper character so far in this, so maybe him? I'm not really sure who else though, to be totally honest. Uh, huh. I want to say Ishimaru just because I love him, but I feel like he's not going to live, honestly. But thank you for, uh, thank you for the, uh, don't know, appreciate you. Listen, it's me. But that's what I would assume. I think he would be part of this project, too. You need to. I gotta assume that much. He's working with Makoto to get them back. I can't understand you. Speak up. Grossberg. <laughs> nah, y'all saying it's Grossberg. <laughs> Suddenly static filled my ears and deafened me until I shot up with a scream. But it wasn't my own. Huh. I'm not sure how long I was sleeping for, but I heard a scream. Definitely. Oh, shit. Somebody died already? I ran out of the room and into a startled Ibuki. Ibuki, what happened? Ibuki isn't sure, but she heard a scream coming from that room. Maybe he's Sayaka then? No, not now. Uh, Nagito? No. <laughs> I kind of wish Nagito was in this game, though. I love him. I ran as fast as I could to the room, and I found a frightened Angie standing in the doorway. Uh... Already? Jesus! You guys cannot stop, dude! 
when Gundam was talking about the divas and slaying, he meant in the good way. God, that's fucking Kyo who did it so he could be with Ishimaru or some shit, wasn't it? Fuck you, Kyo. <laughs> Even if you didn't do it, still fuck you. <sighs> it's, uh, I feel like it's going to be Kokichi. I guess we'll see. And in front of her was the complete opposite of what I wanted to see. Uh, 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 uh. Oh! No! What the fuck? No! No! Already? Mahiru? Oh my god! I thought for sure it was gonna be Kokichi! I was so sure! I did not- I did not expect Mihiru! Man! Aw, that's so sad, dude! I was kinda hoping she- I was like, literally? <laughs> When Kyokuro was like, who do you think is going to survive? Mahiru kept popping into my head because I was like, you know, it'd be nice if she got to survive till the end. But nope. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of... She was looking for like Chihiro and Mondo earlier. So I'm kind of sus of them. I don't want to suspect them. But I don't know, man. It really... It makes you think. It makes you freaking think, dude. Mihiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer, was dead. Man, no, I'm a hero, dude. Oh, that sucks. That's sad. <laughs> that sucks. That's so sad. Gosh, I really thought for sure it was going to be, um, thought for sure it was going to be, um, Kokichi. That's crazy. Should we go ahead and finish the trial, too? I guess it kind of seems like it, maybe. Well, I guess it kind of seems like, honestly, I can maybe do, um, uh, one, like, chapter per stream. And I guess this was like the prologue in the daily life, so we could probably do, uh, chapter one. Uh, yeah, this is why people say they didn't like this chapter. Yeah, I kind of feel like, honestly, a lot of people get really defensive over, like, their favorite characters, too. So I figured a lot of people might be, like, they might take it, like, personally, honestly, when characters die in this game. Because it's, like, especially if it's characters they feel like didn't get, like, fleshed out enough and stuff like that. Then it's, like, um, I don't know, it just kind of feels like, oh, man, this is Mahiri's time for redemption, and now she's gone. <laughs> A new friend for sister! Oh, I like- I literally am starting to think Kurekio did it just so he could run away with Ishimaru. The trial, so about an hour. Um, I'm trying to think. So we're like four, two, three, three to four. I guess we can do it. Uh, I'll think- I guess I'll think about it, but I think I'm okay with doing it. Thank you, Wex. Poor Mihiro can't make it past chapter two. It's so sad, dude. I know. Poor- Poor Mihiru, man. But thank you, I- Thanks for the donation, appreciate ya. Why, Atua, why? She's done no wrong! She's done nothing wrong in her whole life! Mahiru! Angie, come back to us. You need a break, okay? Ding dong. Oh, wow, that was fast, you guys! Almost as fast as Wolfgang. Ahem, ahem, ladies and gentlemen! Gentlemen, a body has been discovered! You will be given a brief period of time and find clues to identify the culprit. And then a class trial will begin. Hey, what's going on? Oh, thank you, Rose Graham. Mitch Slade, just like his wife, Weeby Slade. <laughs> no, it was not Mitch, guys. Mitch comes out of like the shadows. It was me who did it. And I did it for you, Weeby. For you. Oh, thank you for the dono, though. Appreciate you. Hey, what's going on? Rontaro Mihiru, she's... She's man, it is sad that Mahiru died. I just didn't expect it. I really thought she would be one of the people to survive a while. Wait, no. Hey, fucking Mitch. <laughs> Again. Go get the others. They need to know. What's going on? Why has the announcement gone? Oh! <laughs> We tried so hard, Kiyotaka, and got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. Ishimaru, calm down. We already have others panicking, but we need to focus. We can't let whoever did this get away with it. Um, yes, you're, you're right. I apologize for how informal my behavior was. Yeah, stop being shocked by death, Ishimaru. Come on, grow up here. <laughs> it's okay, let's just take a second, all right? Uh, Mahiru's in real Mexico. So sad. Okay. Who would have killed Mahiru, too? Now that Mahiru was dead, I felt powerless. Like I said, I'm kind of suspicious, honestly, of Chihiro or Mondo. Monokuma was right. We all jumped at the opportunity to escape, and Mihiru fell victim to whoever believed Monokuma's lies. 
What's happening? Did someone really? Isn't it obvious? Someone here clearly thought they were smart and took an opportunity to save themselves along with their boyfriend. <laughs> He's like, right, right, Ishimaru, right, right. <laughs> Thank you, Madoka Otanakoji. I blame Mitch and Kanade. Jay, you don't have to slash Jay. It's okay. I blame them too, always. But Mayhiri did nothing wrong. She was a good person and... Fujisaki, please don't cry. We need you to help us out. But someone just killed her in cold blood. We all promised to keep each other safe and not let Monokuma get to us again. And we failed. You all left Kaidi earlier. And then Mihiru got attacked and it's all your fucking fault. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop lashing out. Whoa, whoa. But why would this be your fault? Is she here blaming themselves? Because I made Alter Ego. That's why my face was on the screen. And if it wasn't made, then now you're part of the good one. Like the Monami killing, or not, the Monami hope game or whatever. No one would be here and Monokuma wouldn't have. Would you quit the sob story already, Chihiro? We aren't here to cry. And if you're so upset over losing Mihiru, I don't know if we know whose room it is yet. Think of it this way. If you help us, you'll bring justice to whoever killed her. Oh my god, look at me being the best boy again. But... And no buts, Chihiro. Now get in there and do something. Get moving. I'm too tired and it's too late for this. Stop pressuring the little dude and... No. No, he's right. I gotta be brave. You got this, Chihiro. Right, the poor boy can barely speak without lying through his teeth. I can't waste time crying. And it's something I'll work on, but right now... We need to figure out what happened to Mihiru. We need to make sure she didn't die. For nothing! Chihiro's right. He is. And you all should agree. Yeah, I gotta investigate it. Yeah, I wonder whose room it is. I feel like it could be another setup, though, honestly. We all just ditched Kaede when she was trying her best to bring us together. And this is where it brought us. So the most we can do now is get together and find some clues pointing to our suspects. Kaede, you up for some pep talks? Oh yeah, this one is uh, completed. I saw somebody asking. This one is actually a completed fan again, which was another reason why I wanted to play it. Kaede, you up for some pep talks? <laughs> Always! Get those help speeches ready, Kaede! <laughs> Locked and loaded. Siaka, Taka, Kokichi, Miyu, Kaido, Mak Makuro, Gundam, and I will search Mihiru's room. Okay, it is her room then. Oh yeah, she had a broken door or something. So that's how they're able to break in. Rantaro, you can take Karekio, Angie, Ibuki, Leon, Chihiro, Mondo, and Ibuki to look around the school. On it. What was the murder weapon to? I didn't really look at the body too much. Okay, Mondo and Kaido. Oh, co uh, uh, blah, blah. it's kind of, I get confused on who's talking sometimes when the new sprite comes up. Okay, Mondo and Kaido, I need you both to stand guard at the door. Make sure nothing gets put out of place. You can count on us, Kaido. Yeah, no problem. I hope you didn't do this, Mondo. Alright, everybody else, let's go in. Investigate. Is her head bashed in? Jeez, whoever did this went a little overboard. No kidding, look at all the blood. Dude, dude. Let's focus on the matters at hand, you two. Look around for some clues, okay? God, there's so much blood. On it, I'll check the bathroom. In the black room. What's the black room again? And I'll check by the bed. Okay, Makuru, help Siaka and Gundam help Miu. I guess I really thought too much about Siaka doing it or Leon. They're just fighting so much. Chihiro and Ishimaru? Ishimaru? Ishimaru is pale and frozen, staring at something on the floor by Mihiru's body. <gasps> no! Is that Mondo's? Oh, fuck. Somebody's framing him, okay? I just want to say that. I just want to say that right now. He's being framed even if he does get convicted. Thank you, Andrew. Silver lining. At least we get to see Rontaro participate in a class trial this time. That's more than V3 or the demo ever did. God, that's so true. <laughs> yeah, I think even in, like, the demo, they were just like, sorry, Rontaro, you don't get to be in it. We should have all seen that as a sign, honestly, that he was going to die, like, immediately. What is it? Oh, God. Uh -huh. Surely. Somebody's, somebody's just, they're just 
framing him, guys. It'd be too obvious, okay? It'd be too obvious. Somebody's framing him. He would never because he's a little scrunkly, okay? Okay, okay. That's not his corset. <laughs> that is so true. It's his... It's Mondo's belt! What? But why would that be here? No reason. He just dropped it when he left to go protect. Mondo couldn't have. Kyoto would never. He'd never do this. I, I know he wouldn't. <laughs> just like he never did that other thing in the past. But why would his belt be here if he didn't have anything to do with it? He seemed a little weird too when he was talking earlier. Well, let's see what else there is to see if we can clear Mondo's name. Mondo's belts, but add to the truth bullets. Do 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 do. If in Mahiri's right hand there's a piece of paper. Oh, in Mahiri's right hand there's a piece of paper and there is a kanji on it. Oh, 11 0 3 was 11 0 3 7. It's like, fuck, not again. And Leon's like, okay, come on now. I'm being framed. Honestly, if it did say that, I would think it was Sayaka. She's like, oh my god. I can't believe Leon did it again. That's wild. Kanji for what? I guess it's kanji, so it can't be the numbers anyways. I'm just being stupid. It looks like it says... Uh, love. Love? Oh no, love and Mondo's belt? <laughs> Elise's confessing to you. Elise's out of the closet, right? You were upset about that earlier. Also, Mahira's camera is broken on the floor, both the lenses and the strap. I feel like there honestly might be some pictures in there of, like, the culprit. But I guess we'll see. Uh, my tablet says that she died from blunt force trauma. You have your tablet? Of course, they were important when I was, uh, um... Oh. I get it, don't worry. What else does it say? The victim is Mihira Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. <laughs> Again. Rip dead. The victim's body was discovered in her room. The estimated time of death is 11 p.m. The body was discovered at 2.04 a.m. 2.04 a.m.? The victim was subjugated to blunt tra force trauma to the back of the skull via her camera. Oh yeah, we were wo wo woken up by like a scream, that's right. Resulting in immediate death. No other injuries were detected. I think I was doing the wrong voice again. It says Mihiri's time of death was 11.30 p.m. and it's 2 in the morning now. So she's been here for a while, huh? Who was it that found her? Sayaka? It seems so. Hmm. I don't know. It kind of feels like a self-report, honestly. It's like, why are you going into the room at like 2 a.m.? You know what I mean? Kaede, I found something! I think it was Sayaka. I can't remember exactly. It's weird. It's a photo of someone, but I can't make them out. It's a sleeping figure and one standing. Okay, so there is a photo of the culprit. Over top of them. Hmm. Why would that be here? Did Mihiru take this? <laughs> Just be getting murdered. <laughs> I think there was like a, something like that in Wolf Game too. Photograph. Look at this photograph. Apologies for interrupting, but Aruma and I also found something. Uh, what is it? We found a piece of dark cloth in the bathroom, but it's well tainted. He means it's doused in blood, so it's basically just super dark. Okay, dark fabric. Who wears dark fabric? Honestly, I was like, isn't it Mondo? Doesn't he wear like a black jacket or something? So there's fabric and a photo of somebody looming over someone. Did two people do this? I'm not sure if it's relevant, but I cannot find Mihiro's room key. Really? It seemed like her door didn't work in the first place, though, so maybe Monokuma didn't even give her one. Yes, the inventor and I have searched everywhere. And Tiny Titties is right. It's nowhere to be seen. That's strange. Why would the room key be missing? Hmm. Maybe whoever has it is the... The culprit! Obtain truth bullet! Do 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 With the room fully investigated, I went to see if the other group found anything. Kaede, Ibuki remembers something! Uh, what is it, Ibuki? Last night, Kozumi, Koizumi pulled Ibuki aside. She wanted to talk about something in secret. In secret. Yep, she. Mm -mm. 
Uh, 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 can't say it. Mm, actually, never mind. She told Ibuki she was scared, but she trusted everyone. Ouch. She trusted Kaede to inspire everyone and that we should we would keep the promises we made. So she decided not to talk to Monokuma about her broken door. Oh, that's painful, man. Ibuki told her not to worry, but um, <laughs> we saw that turned out. I know you must have missed her, Ibuki, but we're going to find out who did this. Form a hero. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, Kaede. No problem. Ibuki's account. Man, that's sad. Freaking depressing, dude. After talking to Ibuki, I saw Karekio talking with Mondo and Leon. Dude, I'm just saying, she was talking to you last night. Oh my god, is he framing Sayaka again? Oh, no. Yes, Mihiro did seem to speak with you and Ishimaru quite a lot. Oh, no, Mondo. She wanted to know where to hide her camera from creepy stalkers like you. Yeah, that's why I was kind of assessing him at the very beginning. Don't be so harsh. You know I wouldn't blame you getting so flustered over your second murder, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he did it again. Tragic. Mondo, there you are. Uh, Kaede, what's up? Oh, who knew about the door? I remember her telling us that. Ibuki knew about the door, too. Who else? Maybe Chihiro? I can't remember. I feel like she just told us when we were, like, in a hallway or something, honestly. Kaede, what's up? He's not going to like this, but he deserves to know. <laughs> Can I put your belt next to the body, bestie? Uh, you want to explain that, maybe, or not? What? Oh, interesting. They're, like, already accusing him. I told ya. I glared at Leon, shutting him up. Hmm. We also couldn't find Mihiri's room key. Do you know where it might be? Of course not. I never went into that damn room. Then you wouldn't mind if we then you wouldn't you wouldn't mind if we searched yours. Fine. Yeah, I feel like they were just trying trying to frame Mondo, honestly, which is why again I'm kinda like honestly suspecting uh Keo. We all went to Mondo's room and he we reluctantly let us inside. Everything looked normal. Huh, would you look at that? We all turned to see Karekio holding Mihiru's room key. Oh, my okay, no, he fucking did this. You're framing my boy here. You think you think Ishimaru is gonna fall in love with you because you save him from the death game? No, 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 no. He totally did this. Interesting, I found this here. I found it in one of the drawers. It's crazy, I found that immediately as I walked into the room. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker, it was you. What that's Ugh oh, god, trying to break up my ship. I can forgive you, Kiko, for the incest, for the murdering of a hundred people, but for trying to break up my ship? Hell no. Hell no, you're dead to me. More evidence against you. I'm also kidding, by the way, guys. <laughs> you know what? Screw you guys! Interesting. In a rage, Mondo stormed out awkwardly. Everyone else left the room. I suddenly bumped into someone walking down the hall. Oh, Taka, there you are. Do you have any more information that could help us in the case? Uh, um, I started to think my husband oh, did it. No, I am sorry. It's okay. Thanks. Thanks, anyways. I continue down the hall, seeing someone else in the distance. Ah, thank you, Utsuro, for the dollar donation or the one ninety nine donation. Appreciate ya. Kaido, hey. Hey, Kaido, what's up? <laughs> Nothing. Mondo's getting framed. Do you know anything about the events leading up to the murder? Unfortunately, not much. After we all split up, Rontaro, Gundam, Leon, and I search for a bit for a way out. You can see how that turned out. Don't worry, Kaido. We'll figure this out. Yeah, thanks, Kaido. Kaido's account has been added to the truthful section of your monopad. 
Oh, already done. Dang. Okay, so. 45-minute trial almost. Ahem, time's up, everybody! Our very first own redemption class trial will commence. Please make your way to the trial room. Do so by going to the elevator. Yippee! The map is on your e-handbooks, so I suggest any of you without them, go retrieve them for your rooms! Did any of you guys even look at your e-handbooks? Before anyone else re reacted, I made my way to my room to get my tablet. Before running back and joining everyone else, who met back up in the hallway again? So, what do we find? I think we can discuss that at the trial, but keep in mind, anyone is a suspect in anything is a clue. <laughs> you know, you speak from experience, don't you? Oh my god, Kaede, what's it going to be like to be in a trial where you didn't murder? <laughs> That's going to be so weird. Oh, thank you. I'm a human. <laughs> Maybe. I'm mad because now Angie can't kill Karekio. <laughs> it does seem pretty likely that Karekio did this. I did want her to kill him, though. I was like, man, that's the one the one way that I'm rooting that he didn't do it. But it just seems so likely at this point. The way he's so like, wow, it must have been you who did it, Mondo. For shame. And then his whole little weird crush on Ishimaru. Like, I don't know, man. Kikichi, no offense. It, but fuck off. But right now, it'd be nice if you showed a little respect and actually try to freaking help for once, you little shit. Because our lives are on the line, and I'm done having you push me around when you're no taller than my ankles and have the mentality of a six-year-old. <laughs> you tell him, Kaede. <laughs> Damn, fucking roasted him, Kaede. Yeah, stick it to him. Oh, get wrecked. And <laughs> whatever. Be hope obsessed, dumbasses. And not my fault. I'm trying to stay real in this situation. It is. Now let's go. We have a trial to get to. We all walked the elevator together, and now we're down by one participant. Now things are real, and our first time, first ever class trial was about to begin. We all were waiting by the elevator, and silence filled the room. As of now, some of us barely experienced any class trials. I finally felt anxious about this whole ordeal. Hey, can we talk really quickly? Oh yeah, thank you to Andrew Marsh. Just spun the wheel. It dictates that Mondo is the culprit. <laughs> oh Jesus, rip biker boy. Correcio rig rigged that uh, wheel for you. I hate to tell you, it's like, oh no. It was biker boy, so sad. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Ishimaru, my new boy toy. Hey, can we talk really quickly? Yeah, of course, just be sure to be fast. We're about to leave. I just wanted to say that I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you murdered me. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I guess for walking out earlier, probably. I lost my cool earlier, and I'm sorry. It started the whole domino trail of everybody leaving. If I hadn't, maybe Mahiru would still be with us. And <laughs> now nah, we got some real psychos in our group. I don't think anything would have happened. Hey, don't be sorry for that. It's normal to lose it in here. All of us would, you know. It's easier to just focus on... Us now, rather than our mistakes in the past, all right? So it's no problem, really. Let's forget about it. You, you mean it? Of course, now let's get to the bottom of this case, all right? <laughs> you called somebody a twink, then died. It was Kokichi getting revenge. <laughs> I'm dead. You're right. Oh, a little blush. Just seconds after the elevator arrived, we were taken into an all-too-familiar trial room from my killing game. Welcome, everybody! It's your first official trial! As you can see, there is a stand for each and every student, so be sure to stand wherever you like. So without further ado, let's get a move on! After some time, we all made our way around and to our designated spots. Know everything has truly begun! Mihiru Koizumi, the one who always tried to sort out the discord between us. Oh, I like the- oh, that looks good. I like the- I like the edit there. Her killer is- was in this very room. Oh, now is Shimaru crying. Together, we're going to find out who did this. So sad. For her and everyone else here who was given a second chance. Too bad that sucked for her. Didn't really work out too well for her. I am. Now let's begin with a basic expl explanation of the class trial. 
During the trial, you'll present an argument for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the black kid will be punished. But if you pick the wrong one, I'll punish everybody besides the black kid, and that person will graduate from this academy, and they can take their boyfriend. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death, so you better vote for someone. Now, let's get to your first redemption class trial underway. So, uh, where do we start? Yeah, let's get into this. We should start with the victim and identify any of her known injuries. Well, we know it was Mihiru. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Very, very insightful. Oh, yeah, let me, um, I got this on HD, right? Okay, cool. And we know the cause of death as well. That's right. She died from contusion of the octopus. I get it. I get it. The Monokuma file said she died due to blunt force trauma. So the killer must have snuck up on her and struck her with something heavy. <laughs> Literally trying to remake tr like a uh, Mondo's uh, freaking killing too. Honestly, what was that something? We need to figure. We need to figure that out first. <laughs> Dude, did you just hear? She's like he heard what uh, he heard what Mondo did in the last killing game. He's like, oh, interesting. I may try to replicate that. Start. Monkey with file one. Breaking camera. Missing room key. Okay, I've never really seen these uh, kind of like trials in the uh, Instagram Rampa format. It looks good. And while well, I saw that thing, and there was definitely a lot of blood. Do 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 do. Hum, if we oh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were Kokichi. Hum, if we can't identify the weapon or other injuries, then how about some other evidence? There was nothing else that the killer could have used. Guess this is a dead end then. No, there's something that could have been the weapon at the scene of the crime. Yeah, well, I saw that thing, and there was definitely a lot of blood. Hum, if we can't identify the weapon or other injuries, how about some other evidence? The camera, maybe? I guess that would explain why it's broken. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Break. Actually, there was something at the crime scene that could deliver the killing blow. It was Mihiru's camera, because I was like... I don't think the belt would be, like, big enough to do that. I think Mary's murder, murderer used her own camera against her. It explained the sudden damage, especially to the lens. Along with the blood on it and its torn strap, the killer must have hit her several times, and that made the bleeding start. Oh my goodness, that sounds right, but that's horrific. That's really sad to murder her with, like, her favorite thing. Now that we've determined the cause of death and the weapon, let's look at the other pieces of evidence. Yeah, not some debate! Woo! Back at it! Direct Fabric, Kaido's account, Monokuma File 1. What was Kaido's account again? God, I feel like I'm so tired and out of it today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling under the weather, so I apologize in advance if I'm kind of out of it. Oh yeah, there were a few things left at the crime scene. Like a dark piece of fabric, but it's dampened with blood, so we can't tell what color it is. So whoever killed her must be wearing something dark. Eh, I feel like they might be implying it could have been darkened by the blood. But can we really be sure of that? Plot twist, Kaede is the killer again. I would scream. I'm pretty sure of that, but I need to use evidence to prove it. Ah, uh, thank you, Kyokuro. I guess the killer took the last shot. <laughs> got him! <laughs> Fucking got him! <laughs> Thanks for the dono, appreciate ya. Yeah, well, there is a few things left the crime scene. Like a dark piece of fabric near from the blood, so we can't tell what color it is. Whoever killed her must be wearing something dark. Oh, okay, maybe not. Consent! Okay, I guess so. I kind of thought they were implying that it was just the blood that dampened it. Even though it didn't look like that, you know, in the picture. But, I don't know, sometimes mystery games are like that, you know what I mean? Even if we can't tell the exact color, there's no doubt that the fabric was dark. It also makes sense the killer had dark clothes. But isn't there a problem with that? <laughs> Kayede. A problem? Does he mean the culprit changed outfit colors? Most people are wearing dark clothes. No one is wearing dark clothes. The culprit is Monica. Oh my god, I fucking knew it the whole time. 
<laughs> I correct you, I was kind of wearing dark clothes. Most people are wearing dark clothes. Except for me, so I couldn't have done it for once. I think I get it. The culprit was wearing dark fabric, but that could still be anybody. Most of us have dark fabric on. Oh, Hump, you're clearly overlooking something. Allow me to enlighten you. What? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you just agreeing so hard with that? Seems like such a random thing to disagree with. What if we're looking at this all wrong? Rebuttal showdown, truth blade. Do -do 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 -do. Start. Want to keep a file? One missing key. Abuki's account. What if the fabric wasn't from the culprit? Oh, I don't know if Mahiru was really wearing anything dark. Mahiru wore dark clothes as well. I believe the fabric may be from her. She could have struggled with the killer after being attacked. I hope Makuro lasts till the end of the game. The fabric could have been torn off of them. I mean, I think we would have seen her cloth clothing being torn, though, if it was torn, right? I need to review her argument with the evidence I've gathered. What if the fabric wasn't from the culprit? Mahiri wore dark clothes as well. Yeah, it, the fabric did look like pure black. I believe the fabric may be from her. I was like, I don't feel like a whole lot of people wear pure black besides like, uh, maybe like Karekio and uh, Mondo, to be honest. She could have struggled with the killer after being attacked. Kite. Okay, the Monokuma file. <laughs> Guys, don't tell Makuro to slay. She might do it. <laughs> Actually, there's no way Mahira's clothes could have torn in the struggle. According to the Monokuma file, she died instantly. Oh, I see. Well, since we know it wasn't hers, let's think about who it could have been. Didn't we say it had to belong to the killer? What if somebody else saw the body? Huh? I see if someone saw the body before we did, the cloth could belong to them. So it's not really that helpful at all. Uh, Buki kind of wears black too, actually, in like her skirt. But why would somebody find the body and not tell us? I don't think we can determine that right now. We need to focus on if it was possible. It's night. Huh? Was it not that you brought it up? It was, was it not you that brought it up? Yeah, that was just a lie. There's no way anybody saw the body before Angie. Oh yeah, and how can you prove that? Evidence that proves no one saw the body before Angie. The state of the body, the time the body was discovered, the body discovery announcement, the cause of death, the BDA. Okay. I always love using that, or I love it when that's used as like, I don't know, evidence for whatever reason. It, make, it just makes my brain happy. Kukichi, you're talking about the body discovery announcement, right? I see it goes off when three people see the body. And Ibuki saw it after Angie and Kaede. And since the killer doesn't count, that means Kaede, Angie, and Ibuki must be innocent. Well, then who else is a suspect? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. Mr. Water was clearly at the scene! <laughs> oh, Cork, I'm telling you I didn't do it, and he wears a black jacket, and his belt was there, and I found his key in his room! Interesting! I think it was Leon. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. What? Wait, no way! Come on, cut that out! <laughs> Personally, I think Avocado here is suspicious. I mean, who doesn't remember their own fucking talent? I fail to see how that makes me guilty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Karekio, dude. <laughs> Can we just vote on Mondo already? Jesus. <laughs> I put all the evidence there for you guys to guess it. <laughs> how long is it going to take you to pull on the bait? <laughs> I never went to a room. It couldn't have been me. Obviously, uh, obviously somebody's lying. And there's no evidence I did. I was with somebody that night. Oh, who were you with, Rontaro? I mean, I mean, Rontaro and Leon could have done it. It wouldn't make this- I wouldn't make the same mistake again. So I couldn't have killed Mahiru. So just knock it out, that's all there is to it. No one of them could- No one was totally framing me. I wonder who's framing you, Mondo. I don't know. I can't figure it out. I need to careful- I need to listen carefully. Rontaro said something I remember. 
hearing about earlier. Obviously, somebody's lying. Couldn't have been me. It was with somebody that night. No evidence that I did. I don't remember which one you could actually break for Rontaro. So I couldn't have killed Mahiru. They don't even have an alibi. Kaido's account. <laughs> actually, Rontaro and Leon do have alibis. Isn't that right, Kaido? Yeah, we spent the night searching the school together. So Leon and uh, Kaido, oh, I can confirm that this is true. But there's nothing that points to him as the culprit either. But that still means Mondo has something, nothing to disprove his guilt. A chop chop, Monica. Well, let's get this over with. Come on. It's time for me to go on my vacation to Mexico with my boyfriend. Actual Mexico. Um, actually, we found Mondo's belt at the crime scene along with Mihiru's key in his room. I swear it wasn't me. I didn't do shit. Uh, don't be a liar, Mondo. That's my thing. So our killer is said and done now, right? I mean, it's pretty solid, ain't it? It appears so. I have my doubts, but maybe we should vote quickly anyways. Oh my god, so true, Bessie. We should vote right now. Yeah, that does seem to be the best thing to do. Monokuma, can we... Wait! You guys are all stupid! Jesus! <laughs> huh? Does anybody else have a brain in this class trial besides me? Mono wouldn't do this. He wouldn't hurt anybody. Not after, not after everything. He wouldn't do this. I know he did it once before, but come on. Otherwise, he wouldn't keep trying to make it up to me, so. I guess he probably apologized to Chihiro, like, in his own time. Thank you, Andrew Marsh. When I wrote Dying Rock before, I didn't bother writing Mass Panic Debate because converting it to a purely text format would have been a logistical nightmare. <laughs> LOL. Yeah, I feel like you've been doing it for, like, a game like this. It's kind of, Or, like, a, you know, a fan game like this. It's kind of uh, <laughs> kind of difficult. So I can see that being really hard with um, uh, text. But, yeah, thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. I believe in him. He wants to protect everyone around him. And it's not right to go off of our hunches. Chihiro's right. Although evidence points to Mondo, we never properly debated or even looked at all the evidence. <laughs> and no offense, but he's clearly guilty. Let's just move on and vote already. Oop, oop, oop. Seems you're split down the middle. This is my favorite part. It's got the badass music. Woo, the bait scrum. Whoop, 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 whoop. I wonder what sprites they use for everybody else. Because obviously V3's got the sprites, but uh, the other ones don't. Guess they might be like original sprites. Is Mondo the culprit? Uh, okay, it's like side shots. That makes sense. Mondo's culprit. Mondo isn't the culprit. He would never. Of course, Tuck is on this side. Mondo's belt was found at the crime scene. What else is there to prove? Mondo would have noticed his belt was gone, whether it was torn away or slipped out. The symbol's pretty hefty, and the belt isn't just something. <laughs> isn't something you just fucking forget and leave there. Come on, you guys. Well, how about Mahiru's room key? It was found in Mondo's room, was it not? I'm gonna miss doing the Mikado voice. Why'd you have to why'd you have to slay so soon, Kyo? I thought you knew how to slay properly this game. Um It was found in Mondo's room! But if his belt was there too, the killer could have planted it there to frame Mondo. Uh, nobody would ever do that! But what about the photograph? The figure looks pretty tall, and they're looming over Mahiru. Mondo is one of the tallest here. So is Cork. The photograph was taken at an angle, not from a perfect shot. We can't tell who it is, or even their height. Ah, uh, come on. Mondo wears a dark jacket, and there was some dark fabric. Do, 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 do. But many of us have dark fabric. The color was tainted by blood, and could be from anybody here. What about the kill? Is nobody listening to me? Why is everybody ignoring me? God, it's because I have the Mikado voice. Just making you all ignore me and pretend I don't exist. What about the key in Mondo's room? There was no other way in, correct? Oh, yeah. That's how we fucking get you. Ibuki spoke with Mihiro before, and she said she couldn't lock her doors with the key. She believed in Kaede's ability to settle the argument between us. Mondo, Jihiro, and Ishimaru all talked to, to Mihiru. She was talking with Mondo last, when we were exploring the school, after we left Kaede in the gym. We have no definite, definite proof he was the last one to talk with her. Plus, she was talking with him in an open area. If we saw it, anyone else could have done it. What about the note left in Mihiru's hand? It says love. And Mondo is pretty lovey-dovey with... <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Actually, that was from me and my love. <laughs> Forgive my emotions, damn it. I didn't write that note because that ain't my handwriting. 
And you could have changed it to fool us, you know? Like a liar. <laughs> so awful. I can't even imagine. Sorry to burst it burst in again, but Mondo's handwriting is a lot messier than that. Besides, someone can't just change their handwriting off the bat. Full counter! Woo! Take that, Keo! I see, then who could have possibly written that note? Be kinda of interesting to see Keo get executed again. I mean, it's gotta be him, right? Right. <laughs> well, we can't say for sure, but he's just going so hard on this. No, that's incorrect, Kaide. Taka, what do you mean? Oh, I didn't want to believe that anybody could actually do this. But maybe this time... That maybe this time it was Monokuma, but... I know who wrote that note. Oh, <laughs> pfft, you got like a love letter from uh, freaking Kyo. <laughs> I got a creepy ass note from Kyo. <laughs> about how me, him, and his sister could all get together. I was really disturbed. <laughs> but I know who wrote that note. Uh, you do? <laughs> Fucking Kyo, dude. After seeing you all work so hard to uncover the truth, I have to be honest. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. We couldn't keep it a secret, but our lives are in danger. Kurekio Shinguji, oh, he really was. You wrote me that note and you murdered Mahira Koizumi. What? What do you mean by that, Takawaka? We're going to be together forever. You know exactly what I mean, the kanji you showed me. You, try you were telling me about your sister and how much you cared for her and even showed me a charm she got. You, with the kanji for love, you said it represented her growing love for you, even when you're apart. Oh my god, Kareki was really trying to change, though, and leave his sister. And he's like, yes, my, my love note to my sister, I will repurpose it for Kiyotaka. I hope my sister isn't homophobic and she'll support us. Kareki, is this true? Oh, I can't believe this! I was like, I kind of wonder what Karekio's execution is going to be like. Are they going to reuse the V3 one, I wonder? Or if we'll get, like, a new one? Oh, the fabric matches your clothes in the room key. You didn't find it. You had it on you the entire time. Oh, oh Dee, this is so cute. You all believe this? I'm innocent. It was Mondo. You're all just idiots. No matter, I refuse to acknowledge this. I couldn't have even entered the room. You have no evidence. He's not listening anymore. I have to show him the truth. <laughs> Fucking Kyo, dude. Argument, arm, and start. You're all fools. The killer's obvious, duh. Mondo is clearly guilty. <laughs> Fucking Kyo, dude. I didn't murder Mahiru. You have no proof. It's all baseless accusations. Also, this is homophobic. You're all wrong. I didn't do it. <laughs> You have nothing to admit. I have nothing to admit. Oh, man. Ibuki's account. <laughs> it's like Ibuki's AC machine. It's <laughs> my first thought. You could have easily got into Mahiru's room because her door didn't lock. Oh! I'm sorry, Kyo, but it's the only thing that makes sense. You plan to kill Mahiru and escape with Taka. Yes, if given the opportunity, I would have chosen him. But why would you? You showed me kanjis and told me tales of your adventures. Ah, Ishimaru, I'm so relieved that I finally heard you say those words. I was worried that meant nothing. Our talks, our interactions, you remember. Of course I remembered. You're my friend. Not for long, bro, when you see him go all yonder, eh? Alas, that's all we are. Friends! Oh god, this is the trauma dump. I got friend zoned. Karekio on his incel. Nice guy arc. You know how I feel. Don't play dumb since I saw. You've been very clear, but perhaps, perhaps. I've been a little too pushy with my emotions. You've got that right. Ishimaru held his hand up to silence Mondo, who watched in silence now. I'm very pushy, I apologize, and for once, I think I should apologize. There's no way this creep means that. 
Believe me if you'd like, but I'm serious. I overacted to Miu's behavior. I felt threatened over something so minor. A person. I just, I wanted to apolo apologize. I cannot, with him saying apologize, I'm like, keep remembering. <laughs> keep remembering V3. I was afraid. I let my fear and anger get the better of me, it seems. So you admit it, you murdered Mihiru. If a verbal response is what you require, then yes, I admit it. Wow, wow, well, wow, well, that del went a lot better than I expected. Boop, 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 boop. Correcio, how could you? I thought you were better than this, bestie. I mean, I've gotten better, but I'm not a good person. Come on. It was simple, uh, really. I was speaking with Mihiru. And she foiled my plans and spited me when I wanted to borrow something. Huh. And then I reacted in a fit of anger. And I figured if we had the motive, why not go all the way? You killed my hero for this motive? What do you want, pictures? To take pictures of my little taco waka. <laughs> Could you stop calling me that? You, you could have waited for hope. Kaede promised to save us, and you just ignored it and killed. Don't be dumb. Someone else would have done the same thing if I hadn't. You could have waited one more day. Just one. Come on. <laughs> could have let me hear Adela just develop just a little bit more. For what? An even worse murder? Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of the best right now because I saved you guys from an even, even worse murder, probably. Probably, maybe. Another motive. I won't sit like a lamb and wait to be slaughtered. Quit whining over this. It's over now. Gaide, please continue and end this damned trial. You're right. I'll go over everything once more. Closing argument. It's certain we all woke up. Krekio found an instant attraction to Ishimaru based on his <laughs> creepy comments. Soon after someone got in his way, he realized that this may be a challenge if he continued with his feelings and that person was still around. Then Monokuma announced the motive, the chance to escape with a selected partner. He kept the thought in mind and waited to see how things would turn out. After everyone dispersed, he used the moment for a distraction and went to speak with Mihiro. He asked to borrow something, and when she denied his request, he grew angered. And her insults drew him in even further. <laughs> she called him a twink, too. <laughs> How dare you? That's Kokichi, that's not me! In a spur of rage, he tucked on her camera, tucked on her camera, and ripped the neck strap. And knowing there was no turning back, he raised it and did the deed. Soon after, he cleaned up, but he failed to notice the torn piece of fabric from his sleeve, which was bloodied and left in the bathroom. But internally, he couldn't resist the thrill of the hunt and investigation, so he left behind a clue only Kiyotaka would recognize. All while framing Mondo. It's like his love to be like, See, I left this behind for you, Ishimaru. If you want to escape with me, then you won't say. Then you won't say anything, right? Right, boyfriend? Mondo's belt was stolen late at night, probably from the laundry room. That was... I don't know why he thought that was going to work out. <laughs> Like, my obviously one-sided love, but let me lead, leave a love note for him. I guess, you know, he was kind of covering for him at least a little bit at first. And Kurekio had Mahiri's room key with him already, so he could pretend he found it in Mondo's room. So the killer isn't Mondo Obata, but instead, it's... Cork. You, Kurekio Shinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. Oh, Karekio. <laughs> oh, Karekio, I'm impressed, Kaide. You're no Saihara, but your detective work isn't too shabby. Still, you did forget something. Um, what did I forget exactly? The photograph. It's very important, honestly. Yeah, I guess we never really covered that too much. I ha It held no relevance to the, uh... It's about to go weird. It's relevant. To me, I was serving in that photograph. How dare you not show it? You see, it's a picture of my dear sweetheart, Ishimaru. I found it in my room the other night. I have no idea how it got there. But it inspired me to ask Mihiru for the camera. Okay, somebody left that in his room? S so you mean the figure is me? Yes, and I'm surprised you hadn't noticed earlier. Though I suppose only keen eyes could identify the figure. Even I couldn't make out the second one. Perhaps you all will solve that mystery in time. Mmm. Relating to like the 
creation of the killing game. Anyhow, with this being said, I think this calls for a vote, doesn't it? Why are you so calm? You're about to die again, and you're acting no non so nonchalant. Oh, whatever. I've already done this once, so it's whatever. If I can come back once, I can do it again. Don't be foolish. The Necronomicon motive! You're the foolish one, silly boy. Huh? You die for real this time! No more Dragon Balls wishing you guys back. You should know by now if you kill and get caught, you die. I brought you all back from the dead, but I have no intention of doing it again! So how will you come back this time? Oh, wise and great Shinguji! What? But I thought we just... <laughs> um... I feel like Monoku was just fucking with him. Wait, I didn't mean to. I wanted to. Now everybody, kindly divert your attention to the small screens on your stands. Select who you think is guilty! Guess right, you get out of here and see another day. Guess wrong, however, and the murderer gets away with a crime! I wonder! I wonder who it was! Now let's get to it, everyone! Results! <laughs> Everybody but it, even himself. Oh, whatever. I can't guess like you guys anymore. So whatever surprise surprise you all guessed correctly congrats But on the other hand we have poor Correcchio quivering in fear I say we give it all we've got because I think this guy is gonna love it Boop 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 boop. He's a weirdo like that. No wait. This was a mistake. I didn't mean to it's like, why did he feel so cool with doing? Like, he was like, oh, whatever, I can come back. But then Monoku was like, no, you can't come back. He's like, oh, shit, I didn't think about that one. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just now it's time, everyone. I prepared a very special punishment for the ultimate anthropologist, Karakio Shinkuji. Everyone, even if this is the true end for me, please don't repeat my mistake. Escape this wretched place together. I'm not asking for forgiveness. This is my only request. I'm ready to accept my fake, fate, fake, uh, fate still. I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to spend more time with you all, my friends. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. I'm assuming it's stew time. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, cool. It is a new thing. Uh, the chains yet again. I've seen those before. Oh, oh god. What is going on? Uh, uh, we're gonna cook you again! Woo! <laughs> One time wasn't enough! Uh, how to play! Okay, gets in the cage, and. And then you die! <laughs> That's what you happen! Oh, look for an escape! Pinata. Oh my god! <laughs> the Monokuma Beast will attack you! Okay, nice! I'm glad they have a. Like a. You know, alternate execution. Uh, <laughs> the music too is still the same. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Get him, Mono Beast! Mono Lions! Hey, made it out! Uh, uh, they're just gonna eat him though, right? Uh, yeah, God. Oh, man. I don't know, dude. Animals always... <laughs> I don't know, the idea of, like, somebody getting eaten alive just always messes with me so hard. Um. Oh, is he a jewel? Why are you smiling, bro? <laughs> are you smiling? Uh, oh no, he's already so fragile. <laughs> Can't you just be happy? Cause you know he's he's you know he's he was kind of creepy. So just be happy, okay? Mondo is still alive. Please, please don't go all Kiondi or whatever that form is called. Please don't go Super Saiyan again, please, please. Thank you, Eric Day made a short. Hey, I'm back, Kaede Slays. She's my fave, me too, me too, bestie. Oh God, please don't be traumatized. Woo, two down, only 14. Wait, there's 14, right? I can't remember how many <laughs> people are in this anymore. Oh, to hell with it. All oh, those adrenaline's making me dizzy. No, Kurekio, he. Come on, Kyo, come on. He was trying to frame your boyfriend. Just be happy. Just be happy about it. Think about the bright side, okay? <laughs> Just say a bunch of, like, generic, like, comfort words. Everything happens for a reason, right? Right, buddy? <laughs> cheer up, cheer up. I turned to Taku, who was sobbing and staring at the screen. We were all forced to watch the miserable fate of Karekio Shinguji. 
How? How? Oh, please don't go Super Saiyan. No! Damn it! How dare you! Oh, Ashidon! You are not a lovely surprise. Go back in! You're a lovely surprise! How could you let that guy get torn to shreds? Ishimaru, he- Oh god, Ishida's gonna take over because Ishimaru didn't do a good enough job, damn it. Jeez, you're no fun! Aren't you supposed to be a big bad biker sequel or some shit? It's always Ishimaru this and Ishimaru that with you! Ooh, boo, 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 boo! I've had enough of this, you filthy bear! I'm gonna beat the shit out of you! That's enough, bro. Remember the last time someone went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Please, Mondo, please comfort. <laughs> comfort him. Listen to your brother, Ishida! It wouldn't be wise to take me on! Forget this, I'm... I'm just forget it! Damn it! I can't believe it, no. Kaide, are you alright? No, none of this is okay, correct you, he... He... Oh, quit it with the bullcrap already, Kaide. Uh, the fake tears is a my thing, come on. You act all sad and get worked up like a weeping little baby. <laughs> well, guess what? Nobody here actually... <laughs> Nobody here actually cared about that sister fucking creep. Come on. We're all happy, right? <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, a little base, Noma. Okay, okay, okay. Krakow did seem like better in this version, but he was pretty bad at V3. Damn it, even if he was weird, he was still our best fucking friend. <laughs> was he really? Jesus, you guys got low standards for friends. <laughs> After everything that just happened... He's trying to frame somebody else for murder. You're gonna confidently sit here and say a murderer was your friend? Because I'm just being honest, bro. As if you'd never tell the truth. Shut your mouth, you blonde skank. <laughs> oh, Kokichi. Ah! <laughs> you. You. Oh, never change, Kokichi. Oh, what's that? Uh, speak up, raccoon eyes. You're a terrible person. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm so sad. Oh, really? I'm shaking my little boots here. Yeah, you're an absolutely terrible, bad, no good, mean person. You lie all the time and make Kaide and all the Buki's friends sad. You feel no remorse for the people who fell because of Monokuma. You. You. Hick, hick. Kokichi do be spitting facts, everybody in the chat. Base Kokichi. Prayer Kokichi W. I'm dead. How could you, Hick, say those things? Especially, Hick, when we hear you died and you've gone through the same thing everybody else has. Oh, really? Last I checked, I wasn't. Ibuki got murdered. She doesn't remember a lot, but Ibuki died. And so, ever, so did everybody else here. We all died because Monokuma's a bad guy and he made us. How can you come in here and act so mean when you've suffered the same fate as everyone else? I... I... I think... <laughs> I think that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh my god. Stupid. Are you dumb? Yes. <laughs> Let me spell it out for you. S-T-U-P-I-D. Stupid. Kokichi, I've had enough of your... Okay, will you all just shut up with this? You all come after me, but for once, I'm telling the truth. You all hold hands and laugh and play, but the truth is, the killing game has already started. No one here really wants to be friends. We're all just scared to die again. And look where that got us. And look where it's gonna get us next time. We're bound to end up in this cycle again. And guess what? It's her fault! Oh, me?! Yes, you, Kaide. You might be, not be slaying literally this time, but you're still slaying indirectly. You're supposed to be our fearless leader who dictates our moves moves and rights and wrongs. But you can't even do that. I can't believe these idiots still believe in you. Ugh, could not be me. What? I, I didn't. Face it, Kaide. You're like a sheep herder. And these dumbasses are your sheep. It's easier to just give up now rather than lead us with false hope. I'm going back to the elevator because we're freaking done here. 
Honestly, Kokichi do be spitting, spitting facts. Kokichi walked away, leaving everybody else behind. Kaede, don't listen to him. He's a no-good boy you has no respect for. No, Angie, it's okay. He's he's kind of right, honestly. He do be fi he do be spitting facts, right? That guy is never right, right? That guy's never right. What do you mean? I mean, I failed. I promised to keep you guys safe, and I didn't. It's time I take credit for my failures, but this time I'm gonna try harder. I won't let this, won't let this game continue, and I won't let us fall into despair. No matter how long it takes, we'll all escape, and I'll end this killing game. <laughs> well, we all believe in you, Kaede. You really are our fearless leader, and we'll follow you to the end. As much as I hate the guy, Leon's right. We all believe, no matter what happens, Kaede. Uh, pretending I didn't hear that, princess. <laughs> what was that? I keep saying that, baseball star. I guess it's kind of, I was like, how is Baseball Star an insult? But I was like, I guess he did hate his talent, so that might be why. Despite everything that just happened, we all couldn't help but laugh at the petty squabble. With that, we headed back to the elevator, and our first class trial came to an end. Despite what we said, I couldn't shake the feeling that this was only the beginning. And that feeling was... Despair! Despair! Woo! Okay, it seems like maybe a little bit more. Maybe, uh, those people. Yep, here we go. Shuichi, are you there? Ugh, what the fuck is that noise? They're communicating with Aruma now, the aliens. Bzz, bzz. Um. Grumpily, I dragged my ass out of bed to see what woke me up for my beauty sleep. I think it's coming from this drawer. I yanked it open, and inside, I found... Uh, oh my- See, guys? I told you they were all flash drive personalities! Oh my god. Common Weeby W. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you know it's bad when you say that about yourself. No, I'm just memeing. It is interesting, though. A flash drive. This might actually be like the new motive or something. It was just funny that I made that stupid theory about the flash drives, and then she finally found it. I was that here before. I picked it up and stopped, and it stopped buzzing. There was something engraved on it. Oh, alter ego, maybe. I read what it said, and in no fucking way. Uh, it's gonna be a cliffhanger, isn't it? Yep. I had a feeling, honestly. Okay, interesting. I don't, was like, is it gonna switch to me? I see people uh, saying that for the next chapter. That'd be kind of interesting if we did switch protagonists every time. But then that means Kaido doesn't have the the protagonist. Well, I say protagonist protection. Not like that really helped her before. But you know. <laughs> oh man, thank you, Andrew Marsh. Silver lining. At least Kaido made it past chapter one this time. That is so true. She served. She finally learned to serve and not to slay. Okay, well this is fun. I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I know it's supposed to get a lot better, I think, starting chapter three, but, uh, I still had a lot of fun with this. I kind of figured I'd like it no matter what, just because it's, like, fun to see the old characters. It was interesting how, uh, different Kyo's, uh, personality was in this one. It was kind of funny, though, him simping for, uh, <laughs> for, uh, Ishimaru. But, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and end it here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope you're interested in um, me continuing uh, me, in me continuing the series. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens next and uh, further, especially once like uh, the creator said they started like really putting in like all their effort and stuff into it. But uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks guys for coming to the stream. I had a fun time. I hope you did too. I should hopefully have a Project Eden's Garden video up this week. I finished it. I just got to get a sponsorship approved. So I'm like, please get approved. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself by saying it on stream. <laughs> so hopefully it'll come out this week. Maybe like Wednesday or something. But yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. And I will see you next time. Bye.